What's up, everybody? And we're back. Oh, no, I can't start with that, Joey, because uh, I think Chris wanted to hear. Um, I can't yeah. about my dream. Oh, you had a dream? We have, first of all, we have Joe here. Yo, what? Uh, and we have Chris here, but he is uh, out of the room at the moment. And we have Scott M here. Hey, yo. He has, uh, for the YouTube viewers, he's loaned me a number of toys. Uh, first couple, <laughs> we're off to a rough a rough start. Um, but we, I think I think we've turned a corner. I can't believe you keep setting him shit down. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I'm on a pretty good run here. I'm not going There's on, an over-under on it, you know? Knock on wood. I'm at 40, as of today... Uh, 46. Did and you a little counter to yeah, accidents? I have one now. <laughs> I have one now. Yep. And I, so my 46th, I thought I broke. I thought I broke it. And it would have been the dumbest fucking thing to break. It was a, a Mafex Terminator endoskeleton. Uh-huh. So it has beautiful sculpt, beautiful paint, and they make the same mistake of spoilers that like a lot of like hot toys makes in my opinion, where they go for such accuracy that they sacrifice capabilities and then fall back on the, well, they don't move like that in the movies. Right. Well, it's, yeah, that's fine. But I bought it. <laughs> I want to be able to do some extra. I want to be able to use my imagination, Joseph, to do some extra things with it. You don't want to just stand it there, bro? Correct. So anyway, um, but anyway, it has these pistons in its legs that mm-hmm. connect to its abdomen. And as you move the hip... The NSI part. Cur- yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. And as you as you move the hip, the piston you know rises and falls. Yep. But the piston should probably be about a quarter inch longer. Yep. So... Exactly what you're talking about. So, so, like, I moved it too far and the fucking came thing... Out. It came out. And one of it's a ball peg that goes into the socket of the piston. And then the other one's just the end of a plastic. But it looks broken because it's not painted yes. or anything. It's where they snipped it off the, the, the sprue. The sprue. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck. I just fucking broke this thing. Like, the, a review that probably 16 people are going to watch. That like, <laughs> I, like, I started thinking, like, man, do I just cover this whole thing up? <laughs> um, but it, it ends up it wasn't broken. It, it was fine. And uh, But it's a pain in the ass. Not a great figure. Uh, spoilers. Join a Patreon. <laughs> That's the last free one you just, here. You just have to slide it back in the hole. Yep. Yep. Well, and actually, it pops out sometimes, man. Depends actually, on your link. <laughs> actually, actually, yes, you're, you're right about that. But it, it actually was a little bit more challenging because it's a ball peg. And it's a little itty-bitty hole 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 yeah so i had to actually get tweezers and oh. hold the side of it and jam it into the socket and and then angle the piston it was a hold to do it was a whole it was a nightmare i'll be yeah. honest with you it was a nightmare yeah, i fucking hated it there's plenty of people who probably had to use the tweezers before you <laughs> reach out and, <laughs> and, and angle it, you gotta angle it just right <laughs> yeah. i'm actually i'm on a um I'm actually. I, I'm not doing 100 percent well, like mental health wise. You don't. You don't seem like it. You seem a little. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not on point not, right now, <laughs> and and a, a big part of it is just like I keep. I have, I'm having a hard time keeping it in perspective. So what like perspective. So because you you're a bit unhinged right now. Yeah. So <laughs> just a little bit. Yeah. So all the problems that I'm having are no big deal. Mm-hmm. Ankle biters. Yeah, they're really no big deal. Um, it will sort itself out. Um, but it's just every time I'm turning around, I'm getting another piece of bad news and then another piece of bad news and then another piece of bad news. And actually, there was some serious bad news in there with a, a an in-law that one of the ones that I shouldn't say that because I, I, I say that flippantly and it's not true. I was going to say one of the ones that I like. But the truth is, is I like most of them. I just have complicated feelings about their involvement in my life. Um, but... This one, I've actually, he was always kind to me. Mm-hmm. And um, funny story. I've been felt like I've told a funny story about the past recently. So, um, you know, I'm a product of the 90s. You know, uh, born in the 80s, raised in the 90s. Yep. And I was at their house, one of their big gatherings, I think for July 4th. And this guy was there who was like kind of an asshole. And he was like a friend of one of the family members. Like he wasn't, he wasn't even a part of their fucking crew, oh. you know, and he was just an asshole. And he said something to like he said something that kind of like like you know like I'm the last person usually to be like that's racist. <laughs> I'm like, I'm, usually, usually, usually I feel like usually I feel like man if it's funny you got to let it go like we got to laugh at this shit. But he said something I was like oh that one might be racist. Um, he met this Asian lady who was a girlfriend of somebody showing up there. Okay, and uh, he was like nice to meet you. I love those little corns you make. <laughs> so you know how like. <laughs> 
<laughs> Damn. <laughs> and, and, and like, he didn't even know what kind of Asian she was. <laughs> correct. Correct. And here's the thing. If I said that to, to Joey now, yeah. I feel like that would be fine. Yeah, it would be funny. But saying it to a complete stranger that you know nothing about to me is like, I, that, that, was, that was my first red flag with him, right? So anyway, he came over and he started fucking with me about my pants. My pants were too baggy, mm. right? And I'm looking at Laura and I'm like, you know, because I was a hothead, you know, but I, I, I was always trying to be a good boy when I was, <laughs> when I was around their family, you yes. know? And uh, what you call it? It's me, her father. Her father knows that Laura's on birth control. You know, that's weird. And then her, this, this uncle, weird, this, yeah. uh, for teenagers. You know, if oh, I like, I oh, yeah, so back, if, back if, then it's different. Nowadays, even, mm, even now, if Jane is on birth control because she's fucking some dude and that dude is sitting next to me at a picnic, it's going to be fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be fucking weird. You may not be able to understand it, but it's trust me, it would be fucking weird. So we're sitting there at this table and me, her father and her uncle, this this uncle and this guy says that comment about my pants and her uncle like shoots off immediately back at him like um it's probably because he's got a big ass dick <laughs> and then her father was like i bet it's huge <laughs> <laughs> and it was like one of the few times that like her her father ever defended me about anything but and it'd be about that made it extra strange and then that dude but that dude was like on it immediately so i always had a, a soft spot for him so to speak and uh anyway he fell on some health issues recently, mm. which looked like are turning around. But um, so that, that was a little bit of interesting. But everything else has just been like this customer service bullshit, and you know, little things here and little things there. And my fucking computer, which is like the big one, because yeah. like, like it still hasn't <clears throat> been able to recover it. No, um, so I took it to a place, and they did a. T- I've taken it to two places now, technically. Yeah, and they're like, I, we can't get in. We ran this one, this one. They gave us, they gave me a number to two different places. But now I'm going to be looking at probably thousands of dollars. Jesus, to get it, um, which is not what I wanted to hear. Now I did talk to Jim. He he runs the Discord on the Patreon, who is, and he's been very resourceful for me. And he seems confident that he can do something for it. But I'm like, man. I don't want, I don't know. I got to talk to him, but like, I don't want to give it to him and then he'd do something and then it'd be fucked. And then it's fucked now. What's there to lose? There's a question. Hope. Hope. I mean, at, at, at some point. At some point, but right now there's still hope, you know? Um, so anyway, that's where I'm at with that stuff. And it's just everything. And some of this other stuff that we're going to get into in a bit when Chris comes back and I get to my nerd week. But it's just been like fucking one thing after another, after another, after another. And I've, I'm at the end of my rope trying to keep it together and having to continue to like because I want to shut down. Mm-hmm. I really want to shut down. But I got to keep going to work. You know, I got to keep reviewing figures that have pistons that fall out because they're poorly made. Do you know what I mean? Like the show must go on. I mean, but I am not in it right now. My heart is not in it because I'm so frustrated with everything. It's time to take a break. Yeah, I'm not good at that. But 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 I, you're, everyone, you're, I mean, everyone <clears throat> needs it. Yeah, I have, and like some of the stuff I don't like the pods and stuff. Like you know, it's fine. Like uh, I'm looking forward. I got a kitchen table next week that I'm super looking forward to. Um, Short and, break now is better than a break break later. That's that's true. That's true. Um, and then like I have like uh, you know I just put out a Bible you bop on Queen that's yep. a very mm-hmm. like a very I'm very proud of, and I got another one coming next month on Notorious B.I.G. and Junior Mafia that I've been doing a ton of research for that I'm I'm very uh, optimistic about. So there's there's still stuff that I'm excited about, still stuff that I'm, but I'm just like actually I did a sit down Saturday for today for tomorrow that I'm not even sure people are gonna like, but I said I would do it on a look behind my YouTube, like yeah. full, a full look at like what the analytics uh, look oh, like. Yeah, nice. People like, you know, the that. money breakdowns, yeah. like how, like how that shit gets sorted out, like how a video, like a fan's toy, something performs versus something else versus be super interesting. Yeah. yeah that's, that's I, super interesting. So yeah. like, I think, and I'm, I'm proud of it because like it, it really shows you how this shit works, yeah. you know? And it took me a long time to figure it out in the first place. But, uh, so anyway, I like, I'm I, like that. I had a good time doing, but like when I reviewed that Terminator figure today, my heart wasn't in it. <laughs> I, I can tell you my heart wasn't in it. And I just, what did I do? Oh, fuck me. I just did that fucking, uh, top raid 
uh, it's like um, Dream Star Toys, third party company, making a air raid of the aerial bots for Superion yeah. that looks like stylized. It almost looks like what you would want the Bayverse to look like. Okay. Or if someone was like, hey, make a real vehicle and then imagine what it would look like as the re- as a real robot it's in like today's one of the last world. Ones, right? Yes, I think it's the second to last. Yeah. Um, and you know, and like I did it in my. It was actually. It was. It was actually. It went far smoother than I expected it to go. But like my heart wasn't. I, my, I was just going through the motions. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but anyway, so spoiler I mean, question: a, This one didn't go to the baseball field. No, <laughs> no. I'm I'm at forty six, forty six and kicking, forty six and kicking. I mean, it's, uh, at this point, it, it it's not a big paycheck, but it's like a paycheck. It's your job. It's like it's, yeah, it's like clocking in at this point. Like you might not like. You're not gonna like everything you you you. Yeah. Really, especially, I mean, you're your own boss. No one holds you to your standards but yourself. But you want to put out a certain amount of vid- videos on certain topics. Yeah. A lot of them are gonna be phoning it in. Yeah. Yeah. It's just well, the nature of things. <clears throat> so I I I I want to I want to hold back a little bit on that because I I don't think I was phoning it in because I was being honest and you know i was i was i was showing but i wasn't in it like i i was like i wasn't just going through the motions but i it, i was doing something that i didn't want to do that you're getting paid for like <laughs> that a job. i'm getting paid for <laughs> but, but i'm not even doing it for for the money because like when we get into this a little bit tomorrow but like the youtube it's not. I know it's not like a lot of money but like it, it, at it's, all it's, and it's, it it's, is it, 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 to me it's, it's, it's just like a I don't know, like some kind of employment. Like, it's your own boss. It's a job, though. You yeah. might not be doing it for the money, but you've made this, like, occupation for yourself. Yeah. So the YouTube now is 100% an advertisement for Patreon. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. And it's it's just the high-end items that are going to be sparkly to get people's attention to try to lure them over. And then once they come over, most people, because my retention, my retention is pretty good, most people end up, leaning into the in, the more intimate stuff yeah the, and then that's where people are like oh, i mean that's fuck. the more interesting YouTube's stuff the gateway drug yeah, yeah yeah exactly yeah like and i i get notified like i get dms from people all the time that are like dude i i 100 came here when you move sit down saturday over here um and uh, i can tell you like uh i, I don't give a fuck about any of the toy shit you do anymore yeah. i'm just here for everything else you know because <laughs> like, like, the other shit you can get anywhere else i mean yeah yeah, yeah it's right. for, you, you get your take and your personality of, but like right 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 the interesting part is the patreon it's like that people look at you and this lifestyle in general like it's a behind the scenes that people don't ha- i'm privy to yeah you're not going to get that anywhere you're not going to get that on a youtube channel yeah. that reviews toys yeah 100 percent. and i don't think most people would want it <laughs> at, at least not at first you know um but anyway tell me about this dream joey while we're trying to burn some time for it's, chris to show up I, it's it's fucked up <laughs> really i don't know uh, i don't know how my mind comes because again everything that you dream of comes from your own mind right yeah that's so true. i was in like a conference with um a group of not monsters like metaphorical monsters they're all murderers oh humans killer, humans that are d- they the are guy. just like <clears throat> really fucked up and this one guy was showing how he killed this one guy or what, what he did to this one i don't think he's dead or talking shop yeah talking shop <laughs> so like he re- he had this guy strapped down his head is clamped uh-huh. can't move so he removed his nose right and the the middle of your eyebrow and up to your forehead he removed that whole bone there so that the brain was exposed, right? And then he stopped up his nostrils and mm-hmm. then chiseled out the bridge of his nose, right? Mm-hmm. So when he breathes, he, he was asking the dude, how does your warm brain smell? <laughs> and I woke up. It might be time to cut back on the true crime podcast. I did. That's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's the fucking thing. That's the fucking thing. I have, I've, since I said the two weeks ago, I've drastically cut back, and the true crime stuff I watch aren't this fucking crazy. Mm-hmm. I don't know where that shit came from. Yeah. It, I, I woke up and I'm like, I'm fucked up. What is wrong with me? Yeah, Who thinks know. of shit like that? I, don't, I know one person. I know one person. <laughs> um, Chris is here. Party people, uh, so 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 yeah. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm concerned for myself. Yeah, yeah. Introduce some positive. Light and this is creative, light, though. Man. Do you? I, do you I, dream I often? couldn't have come up with this like now. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know? Do you dream often? All the time. All the time. All the time. I'm a very vivid dreamer. Mm. I had a dream recently. 
<laughs> like that, like I was driving and this accident happened in front of me. Right. And it was 18 an year old kid driving and he's dead as fuck. And a couple people like step up to help myself included. And we open up this car door and he's dead as a doornail. And we go, I'm like, well, let's get him out of the car. I don't know why. <laughs> that, that was my so th- dream. You, bro. That was, my, that was my thought. I was like, we got to get him out of this car. So we reach in to get him and I've got his hips and I'm, I can see it in my mind. Like I'm, I got my fingers through his belt loops on his jeans and somebody else grabs his like knees underneath his knees. And then somebody else is getting like his, his shoulders, but this kid is dead and his head is flopping around. Oh, no rigor. Right. <laughs> and all mortis. <laughs> 95.73 the jam. Yeah. <laughs> that, that might go that might get the oh, title. Never. No more. <laughs> um <laughs> so uh, good times. I'm yelling at this guy. I'm I'm like, hold his head. You know, and and he's like, he's dead. And I'm like, I know it's the optics. Like I'm just like it's all I'm worried about is like how it looks. <laughs> just the you, know, you know what I mean? Like there's cause there's like other people around women and everything. I'm like, just just hold his own and go flopping around and when we put him on the ground, his head doesn't fucking you know what I mean, hit the fucking concrete. And um and this guy this fucking dickhead is just like not getting this dude's head. And um Hey, oop. So to speak, so to speak, and and then uh, and then I, I woke up just frustrated, but <laughs> it's like a, I was thinking I'm frustrated with customer service these days. But anyway, um, I dream constantly, but I I it's very rare I remember dreams, and the ones I do remember haunt me. Oh yeah, well, I mean, this one I just had haunt. Yeah. It's either really good or really bad. I love that Robert D hates to hear a person's dream. Like it's like it's like it's like it's like, it's like one of my favorite I things. I don't care. I mean, when people are doing the long form explain and uh, my wife to death, but she will tell me in the longest uh-huh. form possible yeah. about the intricacies of, I like the thing is that's for you. It's not for me. You can give me the high points, but I don't need to know the minutia and the uh, granular details of your dream that I don't understand. Uh, there's been a number of times where I've been with him either in person or on a a call with other people and somebody will be like, you know, like Dude, I gotta tell you about this dream I had. And you just hear me back, like, no, nah, fuck, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, <laughs> please don't. Like, you know, he hates to hear another person. Oh, I'm gonna have to remember this. I love that. I, I love that. When so I see much. him next time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I gotta save a good one. It's one of my favorite. I'm gonna keep a dream Speaking journal just for, just for Robert D. Yeah. Speaking of the long explanation for dreams, because you're sitting there and you're listening, right? You're trying to pay attention. The one thing she's gonna ask you about later is the one part you're gonna <laughs> you <laughs> you do straight part. away. Yeah. <laughs> remember that? Do you remember the one part about my dream? No, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 no, it wasn't for me. It's for you. You dream for you, not for me. Yeah. So, Scott, you are brand new here. This is your first time. We'll try to be gentle. Thank you. But uh, so you'll get the honors. How was your nerd life? Uh, nerd life. <laughs> nerd life. Well, you were saying earlier you were the child of the uh, you, born in the eighties, child of the nineties, mm-hmm. born in the se- born in the seventies, child of the eighties. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, you look great. That's me. Yeah, you do. I don't know you how old good. you are. I thought you were like my age. Yeah, five well, zero. Hit the five zero. That's crazy. Yeah, that's I hope I can that. Yeah. Yeah, five zero, bro. <laughs> Some long ass teeth, bro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. I just uh, I grew up during that time, and uh, and that's where I got into it. And then I got out of it for girls and everything else, and mm-hmm. and uh, jumped back in. A worthwhile it. venture, if I do <laughs> yeah, say right? so myself. <laughs> if it was anything worth it, it was that. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah, yeah. dude. No. So, yeah, got back into it in 2005 and haven't looked back. Anything been going on in your life recently that's of, of any value? What brings you out this week? Of we're any you, value? You know, wow. Yep. Good to talk about. Do you have any value in your life? <laughs> Let's just frame this up a different well, way. Like for, what for, do you do here? Well, for instance, like this, today for lunch, I had a bag of pistachios, and they were delicious, but it's not necessarily valuable enough to mention on the pot, except for I this mean, moment right here. If we're, if we're going to if we're gonna flex, I had <laughs> peanut butter pretzels and those Whoppers um, uh, Robin eggs for lunch. <laughs> Sorry, um, I those. The fucking thing. I haven't had those in forever. I can't stop eating. That's important. It's a problem. There's, there's one time to get those though. I know. The day after Easter. Oh, that's true. Fifty percent off. You know, I'm willing to splurge. I'm willing to splurge. It's sometime coming up, right? It's ve- it's it, it's uh, based yeah. on another calendar that we don't use regularly. <laughs> yeah, literally, it is. Actually, it's based on the stars. Is it a Jesus calendar? Uh, I don't think the date of Easter is based on a, uh, it's a lunar thing. It's on a lunar schedule. Yeah. yeah, Jesus is not lunar though. Jesus is a solar. It's everywhere. That's true, ma'am. Omnipresent, what? omnipotent. Like Christmas, Christmas is not lunar, if you right? w- Is it? No. no. Omnipresent is everywhere. If you walk on the yeah, beach yeah. and you only see one set of footprints, do you know whose those are? <laughs> Probably the motherfucker that killed you, because those drag marks indicate something bad happened. <laughs> um, 
anything uh, well where are you so, from where do you live we live in nebraska so that place that everybody flies over yeah right? uh <laughs> what brings you out this way uh so we just had our fifth grandchild Dude, Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> what kind of life is this? <laughs> life is not real. I didn't know you had one grandchild, much less yeah, yeah. St- uh, starting five. Congratulations. Yeah. So our daughter and, and son-in-law live here in Washington, D.C. And so nice. every time we come in, we take an opportunity to come up and see you fine folks. Do they live in the city? You know uh, they do. That's cool. That, that's a, that, that city, I hate driving it because it's like, it's not a normal city. But, but, but I do. I do love a lot of the architecture and shit, like walking around, like even some of the older row homes and shit. And I'm just like, man, like, you know, just like not, not too distant from Baltimore, like stylistically vastly different. But when I walk through Baltimore, I look at some of those old buildings and like, you know, or just, I don't know, everything wasn't like just stamped and stamped and stamped. And there's like a little bit of flair and yeah, it's art. very easy to see, especially when those guys come and squeeze your windshield. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's you like know there's that. no, there's no street in Washington, DC that seems to have be at a right angle. Which, yeah, no, correct. They're all circles. Circles and stars. Fortifications and yeah. shit. Shout out to the uh, uh, Illuminati yes. and Masons, you know what I mean? <laughs> Throw it up. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I do dig the architecture down there. Anyway, uh, and you got some tattoo work done as well. Yes, I, I uh, went and saw our uh, our friend uh, J.D. Brochus. Oh, nice. There you go. And uh, Oh, well, Brian Brinkle hate that. The, yes, he, he already mentioned <laughs> yeah. how much I, he disliked it. I've, I've got a JD piece on my arm. Yeah. So your tattoo is of a, a male character growing on your arm? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's symbolic. Uh, it's symbolic. <laughs> is that your, is that and, your and first then, tattoo? And then releasing at the it top. Is. So, <laughs> it is. Funny story. Well, hang actually. on. Hang on. Just, just make sure they hear This is his first tattoo. That's a big, oh, wow. that's a big piece. It's ambitious. Yeah, nope. yeah. It's a hot rod turning into Rodimus Prime. That's right. For is that what happens? <laughs> yeah, <just> Spoilers. <laughs> yeah. Fuck! So, I've been waiting to watch that animated movie. Funny story about my first tattoo. I actually yeah. went to get my first tattoo about 20 years ago. Okay. My first wife. Oh. And uh, didn't realize just how against getting a tattoo she was. For religious mm-hmm. reasons? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Nebraska. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's either religion or corn related. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those little ones. They can be. <laughs> I like that's the ours. That's ours. <laughs> the, ones, the ones from the salad bar? Yeah. What up? <laughs> the fuck are those? I love them. I mean, yeah. Listen. You can you can pickle any vegetable and I'm down. I'll just say that. I don't know what those things are. You don't, don't know, know how what, funny it is, but hopefully forest. you'll listen to the beginning of the show next week and yeah. you'll see oh, just God. how funny it is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Rain makes corn. Mm-hmm. So she shows up to the tattoo parlor while we me and a friend are there trying to pick out tattoos with all three of our young children, two, four, and six in tow uh-huh. to beg me not to get a tattoo. Really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What so, tattoo were you going to get? No, oh, just some bullshit. Mom. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, dagger. Were you going to get some tribal? Were you going to get some tribal? It was going to be a Japanese, you know. Yeah. 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 Same. Oh, you yeah. stuck with the theme. <laughs> 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 well, uh, congratulations on your first tattoo. Yeah, thanks. I got. I, I'm want to do. Uh, I want. One, I want to do one more. I'm going to wait till the fall because it's fucking. It's grueling. I, I hate staying still for fucking. I mean, 10 you just minutes. fall asleep anyway. It's fine. Well, that one time <laughs> that shit was hard. Like, like, but um, that uh, I want to get my old my the house I grew up in, like on my arm. But I oh, wanted, I thought you meant on your neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I want. Like I want it to look like, like uh, I don't know, like in disarray. Do you know what I mean? Like boarded up, weathered. What you know what I mean? Distressed. Like, you know, like like I spent a, a song disappointment. Yeah, like it was on fire or something, and mm-hmm. now it's fucking foreclosed. <laughs> um, but anyway, but is, that that's, how, that's, is the house still there? Mm-hmm. Why don't you go take Martha the Mar, Mar- Martha Martha? Why Marshall you say Mathers <laughs> LP two uh, picture of sitting on the porch <laughs> yeah. and then get that tattooed? No, but I'll go and I'll go and firebomb it and then and then be like, dude, just just for the realism. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> That's it. Um, for art, bro. Anything else you'd like to mention before we move on, Scott? No, I mean that. Uh, that's that's why I'm here. Okay, here to no. see you and and uh, hang out and thanks for the invite absolutely absolutely well at least i got one invite to you because i'm supposed to get another one to you and completely fucking fuck that up but um so chris you got your coffee first joe how was your nervy joey how was your nervy other than fucking dream that still haunts me i went to the arnold um yes you did last <laughs> Uh, it's great it's the first time i've been back in, in four years mm-hmm. um i loved it it's it's a little bit sad though because it's not because when the year I went mm-hmm. was because it was steadily getting more popular and better and better it was at the 
it was the year before COVID, so mm-hmm. it was at its peak. So this is the second year after COVID they've come back. It had its Ma- biggest gains that year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. for, for the listeners, for the listeners, and for me, what's Arnold? Arnold's uh, sports festival is um, a convention, much like a uh, you know, comic book convention, but it's all bodybuilding and sports related things. Oh, okay, uh, but it's like it used to be mainly just bodybuilding the arnold's classics is one of the events like the olympia you've heard mr olympia arnold's is like the second tier um directly after that in my mind at least but they have a lot of sports like the year the last year that i went they had like fencing ballroom dancing ping pong pole dancing had to do the competitive jump rope (laughs) (laughs) is there a guy from alabama that just pissed everybody off Please tell me there was a guy from Alabama that just pissed everybody off. You know, that, that's that Did you represent for the team? <laughs> like, was there's trash, foosball, like, a room full of people that look like y'all. <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. Uh, I, I love this. Really, I saw, um, Gomez, who's been on here before, mm. uh, the first time I met him, you know, because um, I work with him, and I was like, I was asking him a couple questions. I was like, hey, like, you know, it's mopping, you know? So I was like, are, are you mechanically inclined? And he was like, no. And I was like, huh. And sometimes we'll we'll get some food together or whatever, bring in leftovers for everybody, like or cook a tray the night before, bring it in and mm-hmm. heat it up. And I was like, well, can you cook? And he was like, nah, not really. And I was like, well, Jesus Christ, can you fucking merengue? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he was like, he, actually, he was like, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> uh, it's the. Um so yeah, that was crazy. You know, it was like the San Diego Comic Con of like that, that world. It was like packed, the whole room packed. So this year I went. It was still lots of people, not quite as many attendees, but still a good amount. But there were a lot less events. Mm-hmm. So like it was a lot more stages for powerlifting, bodybuilding, Olympic lifting, and stuff like that, and a lot less of the other sports. Um, they do have what they didn't have before was the, where the uh, pole dancing people was was kickboxing like full on fights like okay. non- nonstop people beating the shit out of each other. Oh, that's race. why there was a lot less people there this time around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the pole dancing. Unfortunately, but the pole dancing is. Oh, dude, don't not, get, don't get me started. Not, not as <laughs> don't not as started. much as what you if think you it is. If you don't get your ass down off that pole, <laughs> shake it. <laughs> God, I hate doing motherfuckers it's, try to get to turn that shit into some other extra shit, bitch. Get down here and shake. <laughs> and it's not the people necessarily you you're That's imagining, a bro. Save it, save it for fucking Cirque du Soleil. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Well, how else you get that cocaine residue to drip drip back down your throat, bro? You gotta hang upside down. Um, and um, oh, they had the whole they had a whole like fucking small arena of um, medieval fighting. Like full on armored. Okay. Oh, like that place at the mall. <laughs> yes, except they beating the shit out of each other. Oh, they weren't. They weren't turning their swords flat like, when they hit. Like those guys in the woods. What's the name? <laughs> <of> <laughs> what, is it medieval times? Is that the it is medieval, medieval times. times? Yeah. God, what a fucking this lightning, is, lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Yeah, yeah. These guys were like beating the shit out of each other. The, the swords aren't sharp. Were they wearing armor? They're wearing full armor because they have to because they're oh, yeah. beating the shit out of each other with metal sticks. It's awesome. like there's some. Uh, of this reenactment, like battle type of sports or mm-hmm. games that use <clears throat> yeah. like foam sticks, you know, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Exactly. Um, even if it's full, full full contact, it's like hockey pads and foam sticks. These guys are like, I'm not wearing hockey pads. <laughs> <laughs> I miss that guy. Have you ever seen the people who like modern day joust? Yeah, like, they did, they did that too. So they have they have full suits, full of, suits armor, of armor. They have this other apparatus like this shoulder. Pad that where that's where you're supposed to hit. Oh uh, God, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm getting. There's I'm, a reality I'm, show about that at one point. I'm though. googling yeah. surgeons just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, these guys are not. I don't know how they're gonna last long because like they're wearing like 70 pounds of full metal armor. Well, people did that for them. years before. They just, you know, they just they had to died. They did, and they died in that they armor. Didn't do it, they didn't do it over and over again. That they many died times. in that armor, and then probably several days later, somebody took it off of them and put it on. Mm-hmm. Yep. Several, yeah. several days and it was probably hot could you imagine wearing that around in like July yeah there's, there's, I mean, there's sweaty know. under there we, yeah. yeah yeah but you're talking like England right yeah it's, out there. Well, and it was probably rainy <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, so the, everything smelled like sour it. ass <laughs> yeah. Yeah. wash the blood off a bit a bit <laughs> and, and pip pip cheerio and all that and, and all, all that. you had to look forward to was 
cabbage to eat <laughs> whatever the fuck British people eat yeah, at oh, the end of the day dude, worst cuisine that's what I'm saying like, you do all that fighting and shit and armor and you come back to fucking cabbage and, I know I'm gonna corn, be if I ever beef. get the opportunity it's gonna be fish uh, and chips for me for uh, the fucking I'm, I'm excited to to I think there's probably better food than we think there is. I don't know. No, every I've been time, there. I ate Chinese food the whole time. Every okay, time Cody well, tells us about what he eats, I'm like, dude, I wouldn't go near. I wouldn't. That's why he has bad taste. <laughs> yeah. He was like, raised yeah, on bad taste. Every time he he gets, didn't see good taste. He was a man. Every time he gets food. <laughs> <laughs> every, every time he has flavor, he's just like, what the hell are y'all doing over here? <laughs> I mean, the man doesn't like pizza. That, that's yeah. how fucked up he was raised. Spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Hamburgers. Just plain. Dipping in some water. Just the meat and the bread. That's it. What else you got? Um, the only the other highlight, other than the regular stuff, the other highlight is that um, the wheelchair bodybuilding was impressive, especially before each um, contestant come to the pose down. They tell like the story of how they got paralyzed and like which part of this. They, they will they will say this uh, this person is T five incomplete or complete it's like yeah, they, 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 they tell what their injury is so they, they, they do all the, they do all that and then there's the bodybuilders also like the ones without a wheelchair it's that, separate category yes. right but they do they have a story you get a story so are they no, telling they are they, so listen, they get a whole they? story it really takes the leg out from the competition <laughs> <if> you, <laughs> are we canceled yet what episode is this well hang on joe do they get to per, do they get to pick their own song to yeah, come yeah, out yeah, to everybody right, does. Let, let's have it what, what would the, what would the songs be I, this is probably going to be the last episode of Nerd. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, get your, get your, your, uh, roll, get your roll on by the big timers is obviously yeah, the, the yeah, number one. Uh, Limp Biscuit, keep rolling. Right, right. <laughs> uh, wheel, wheel, com- wheel in the sky. Wheel in the sky. <laughs> sky Chameleonaire, they see me rolling. Yeah. You see me rolling. Um, riding, uh, riding dirty, yeah. Riding so, right, dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't want you to misstep on that one. Sorry, um, sorry. Uh, uh, ride or die. <laughs> <laughs> Rough, rough Riders, riders Anthem will we'll definitely riders be there. Anthem. If there's rider, no, for, rider for life. Rider for life. <laughs> there's, if there's somebody that doesn't come out to Rough Riders Anthem, then they're totally missing out. Were there any dogs there? I don't know why. There was I'm a lot of dogs. <laughs> like, like there was a dogs? lot of No, actually, that, this is why. Like, are, you, are, you, are you reading my fucking <laughs> they're mind? All, they're all, like, they're all put, pit bulls that are just ripped. <laughs> to the, yeah, there's ones like, that are also bred out to be like. Yeah, there were a lot well, of they jack had dogs. They the jousting, but, right? But then they took the j- dogs and the wheelchair people, and then they had, they had uh, you know, uh, uh, let's not let's lost, not call wheelchair lost, people. Lost. <laughs> we tried to get canceled. I'm telling you, the contestants, <laughs> chariot races, chariot races. <laughs> like, but those are Alaskan huskies. That's mm. that's chariots ish. Mm-hmm. No, there was a lot of jack dogs there. Um, I don't know why there was so many dogs. We saw so many dogs. Like, there. was it just people like had their dog with them and they, yeah. or they were just dogs? And they were all around. very friendly. They were all very. What about oh, any, that must be nice. Any, any cats? <laughs> Did anybody, did anybody bring a cat with them? There were no cats. Ah, oh, it's disappointing. But I was I, I don't think I've seen that many dogs indoors in one place in forever. Ever. ever. But yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was very nice. I pet all the dogs. Since the live nice. action 101 Dalmatians starring mm. Glenn Close. <laughs> yes. Who kind of looks like my stepmom sometimes. That's an interesting take. Mm-hmm. Wait, hold on. Joe? Mm-hmm. I could see that. Yep. It's the nose-ish yep. area. Yep. Mm. Sorry, and there was one weird part because um, they have uh, competitive ch- cheerleading and gymnastics before before COVID, and there were like cool gymnastics and like you know flinging people in yeah, the air, yeah, cheerleading yeah. stuff in that yeah. different <clears throat> building. So and then so me and Krista went, but we walked in and there was just a bunch of children in leotard, and me and Krista was not related to anybody, and it was really awkward, and then we left. Yeah. so it was all it was just kids. Gymnastics and cheerleading, yeah. and obviously family. Yeah, and then this just fucking cool grown ass <laughs> people just, just walked just in like here to have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I felt so awkward. I was like, just mm. pretend we're not here. <laughs> do whatever you'd normally do. <laughs> oh, oh fuck! Oh. Yeah, I imagine there are people there who are just not supposed to be. There. Oh my god, Disgusting. there's gotta be. They're all there. They're all over the place. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you keep watching the true crime stuff. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm bad. No. They're fucking bad. You know, you know, Chris Hansen is still doing his, his shtick now. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been Good. 10, 15 years. Good. Still, people, motherfuckers, still rolling up, getting Bag caught, getting, getting sat down. Can you imagine? Have a seat. <laughs> like now, why wouldn't you yeah. just? Why wouldn't you just leave? <laughs> like, what's yeah, preventing now, you from just? Nowadays, leaving? if he the moment you saw him, you'd be like, oh fuck. 
you know, like, you know, like, cause you would know, right? Like there's no secret to it anymore. It's like, what the fuck? Why is he here? No, you'd be like, oh God, I know why he's here. <laughs> That's your mom. Yeah. My name is Chris Hansen. Have a seat. I want the bloopers mm. real. Wait, the Chris Hansen? Picture for the Phillies? Insane. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Can you imagine that? <laughs> That'd be even better. Bro, one of the episodes, he, he like a guy walked in that he knew. Oh, really? Yeah, it was one of the more recent episodes. A guy walked in and he was like, Jeremy? Wait, yeah. He was like, <laughs> it was, it's a guy, he he like, he takes the, he rides the bus or the train, uh-huh. you know, to, to and from the broadcasters and whatever. It's just a guy he, he rides a train with and he just, he knows he rides a train with all the time. Oh, son uh, of a yeah. bitch. I bet you that's an awkward ride now. <laughs> He was like, fuck that all up. Jeremy, what are you doing here? He's like, oh, Chris, you wouldn't believe this. <laughs> You'll never guess what happened. Can you imagine being friends with Chris Hansen and then walking in to a fucking sting? Let me explain. <laughs> Hold on, man. You know me. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do know you. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> no, that's my friend. Dude, I have a story about it. It's not what it looks like. Oh yeah, I do. Go ahead, go ahead. Involve a girl? No, no. It, it'd be a better. Ho- it'd be, a donkey, it'd a be horse. Be, it'd be better. A if mule. It, it'd be better if it did. I can't. Um, buddy of mine, I'll, I'll leave his name out because his name does come up on here from time to time. Um, <laughs> oh lord. Uh, fuck it. It was my buddy Shane. <laughs> <laughs> his, his parents were going on some trip, right? And he's like young. He's like seventeen, probably sixteen, seventeen. And and his parents are going on a trip. They're like flying to like a destination, like that whole bit, right? House to himself. And as soon as they leave, he goes up into their master bedroom, right? Big bedroom. They got big TV in that bedroom. Blah blah blah. Throws on his porno tape. Gets as naked as the day he was born. Like lights, mm. candles. Like has lights, like candles. like gets like gets lights, like gets like lotion. Like gets like he like he's gonna go for it. Like he's, he's turning it into an event, right? He's got magazines spread out on the bed as well. Like it's like a a, a multimedia extravaganza. It sounds like it's a one man orgy. <laughs> Correct. And, and the uh, setup takes longer than the actual fucking activity. And he's plugging away. And they forgot something. Mm. <laughs> and uh, mom walked in. And, and he and and it just it was like he said it was like fro- everybody was frozen in time like the only thing that rem- everything that re- only thing that remained going was the pornography on the screen <laughs> you know and, and he just said the only thing I could muster was it's not what it looks like <laughs> no it's exactly it's exactly what it looks I like I can't put story. myself in those shoes I don't mm. wouldn't know what to do in that situation. Oh, I'll just jump out the window. I don't. I don't have kids. So I can only imagine from his point of view. But I, I, you guys can imagine from the parents' point of view <laughs> what that would be like if you walked into your fucking. Oh my fucking god! Kid. I would. Uh, I think. I, what's what's unfortunate until I got my senses again? I think my initial reaction would be anger. Mm-hmm. Well, I guess I got. I got room to. Oh my god! I, I have a le- correct. That yeah, would be the only thing I would yeah, do. Yeah. Like, why are you in here? Yeah. yeah. Get out of here, you perv. You're in, you're in here going nuts. About, you know what I mean? Like, Smear your shit somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, what, what would make that worse is if it was mom porn. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. that's very prevalent nowadays. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, sorry. Continue. Um, I might be trying to get my DC license, even though I've said I'm not going to do anything with DC, but it's not to go to DC to work, but possibly get an, the, uh, an office job. Look at my company, uh, nine to five. Oh, really? I, I, like, I, I, I like. I mean, it, it suits me. Every job that I've ever liked is back back room, so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> Work in the warehouse, well, you in just the don't lab. Want front, you don't want to be office. front facing anymore. I don't right? want to fucking talk to people. Don't mm-hmm. talk to me. Send me an email if yeah. you need me. Text oh, me. God. Or it, or I think another way it looks. I only want to work with a certain number of people that work here. I don't want to have to deal with those people out there. That that's you. I, I'm I'm very cordial with coworkers, even if I don't agree with them or whatever. Yeah. Like it's very easy for me to work with people. I'm I'm chill, but like customers, I can't. But I this this email. this particular off type of office job that my position is like it's just me and the computer against the world and nobody. There's nobody that I need to talk to in the office at all. Like I was there for like I've been there for like a month now. Uh-huh. I don't know anybody's name. <clears throat> Right, it's, it's great. I love it. Um, so, like, I, I need to study though, which is a problem because. Do you think that that's a social stereotype that leads itself to your favor? What do you mean? Like, if there was an Asian dude at my job that was kind of quiet and stuck to himself, and like, I'd be like, oh, you know, it's probably just who he is. You know, I wouldn't take it as antisocial necessarily. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's kind of a stereotype that Asians are antisocial. So it, no, oh, quiet, so quiet, quiet, and, and well, diligent. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't know. 
You know, I feel like with me, if I try to do that, they'd be like, hey, man, you all right? <laughs> but you are, you, <laughs> no, 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 even if they didn't know, know you. Me, yeah, they'd be like, hey, okay, how are you adjusting? How are you adjusting? Okay. You know, but I feel like with the Asian, they'd be like, oh, he's probably just getting what after if you, <laughs> What if, what if you go that. outside and he's, he's squatted down smoking a Marlboro Light? Oh, perfect. Yeah. Fishing? <laughs> all you ever see me sit in the office or out there squatting with a stick I'm like, what the fuck yeah. you're never <laughs> anywhere else out of the gutter. <laughs> and nobody ever sees you go from point A to point no, B like, what just... are you doing how did you get out of here I mean that's how it works <clears throat> yeah. I still get, and still get my work done there you go um, but, but yeah but the problem is I'm like okay on my days off I'm gonna study <clears throat> after the Arnold mm-hmm. which is this week mm-hmm. I haven't yet mm-hmm. because as you know well some people know the same weekend the Arnold is Final Fantasy Seven Rebirth? Correct. Right? And you so you've been busy. I've been doing nothing else. Fair. <laughs> I've been good at like I ha- I don't have to be dragged away from it mm-hmm. if like I can sense that something else should be done or mm-hmm. needs to be done or Crystal wants to hang out. I'll you know like all right, let's hang Just out. Still bathing. <laughs> I took a shower today. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, Atta- but, but I did not take a shower since I came back <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> Oh my God, you <laughs> nasty boy! <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> you've, been, you've been going to work. I, uh, I know, yes. I know that duck butter been crazy. <laughs> wow, <laughs> smegma. Mm. It <laughs> felt like silly pudding. Probably. <laughs> I, I, hey, I have a little pocket for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Joseph! I have a little cheese pouch. A little tea, oh, tea cup. No. <laughs> mm. But the chafing. There's no chafing. There's so much chafing. <coughs> Dry yeah. skin. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's why. Prevent chafing. I'm like, I'm, why don't you pay for prevent chafing? I'm like, I've reverted to my 15 year old self playing the original Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> like, like, I'm just like fucking gremlin, except a little bit better because I'm t- still t- upholding my op- obligations. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah. So I, but I want to get this license before May. So sometime in April. So in, within a month, I want to get this license, and I need to study like three law books. And I need to balance like, that with. I feel like you're gonna be fine somehow. Me too. It's the Asian thing. It's a little corn, isn't it? Yeah, so I think so. Like I, like, I think, I think like, I study like, like, if, like <laughs> if, if, if like another buddy, like if Gomez was like, I got three. Like, oh God, dude, I, I, are they on audiobook? You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. But you say it, I'm like, oh, yeah, I think you could. I mean, you could start studying the week of it and be fine. I'm pretty sure. I, it's law book. I don't know. Is it, I, why I, I did, did, pa- no, did pass my Maryland and my North America first try, but that was 12 years ago. Flat. Yeah, but you, how much of that have you used every day, though? I mean, is this front of mind stuff or are these obscure things are going to ask you? It's the- obscure things are going to ask okay. you. And it's, and it's not multiple choice like ABC. It's like A, B, C, D, A or C, A or B. A and D. That's A, where they C, always and trick D. me up, man. That's it's it's like if it's A, B, C, and all of the above, I'm, I'll be good. But this is e like... is one, two, three. I always combination. think of fucking multiple choice. I'm terrible test taker. Terrible test taker. Yeah. This is kind of shit. You, you, you're, the the, <coughs> you're, the yeah. board, you're the board kind of guy. Yeah. And I'm not. Oh, yeah. So I, 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 I get, interview, I'm going to smoke their boots. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. You know? And like, and also, if, if, like, if I can do an essay... Essay, you know what I mean? For you gotta a, write your essay. If I like, if it's like a, a, you know, when you get a question, someone would be multiple choice, true, false, fill in the blank, yeah. and then there was an essay question at like the a end. Home Depot parking lot kind of essay. <laughs> no, yeah. not like that at all. Oh, still not canceled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm so confused. Uh, oh, but, like, oh, like a paper. Yeah, to write a paper. Well, yeah, but it's like only a couple paragraphs. Yeah, so like it's, a, it's, it's, it's oh, like, it's so like a paragraph. So I'll, two smoke, graphs. I'll smoke that. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. but the shit where you actually got to know the information, I can't bullshit my way through it. <laughs> you can talk people into thinking you know what you're talking about, but you don't actually know what you're talking exactly. about. <laughs> uh, here's the thing about physics. <laughs> it's everywhere. <laughs> the truth is, what isn't physics? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> it's all physics. Yeah, I'm op- I'm opposite. I do terrible at interviews. I think anyway. Uh, you but. guys should, should just combine powers. <laughs> yeah. the, the perfect applicant. I, 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 I show up. They're like, uh, they're like Joseph Wong. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> what, what, what of it? My, my dad was Irish. <laughs> <laughs> and your mom wasn't. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, but anyway, it's I, I I don't know. I'm like fucking twenty hours into it or some shit. Mm. But I'm doing every little fucking thing meticulously. I'm not fast enough. I'm walking everywhere, looking around, just living in that world, and it's everything I wanted it to be and more. Nice. I fucking I love that. Love it. It's I awesome. Love it. How satisfying it. is that? 
You've been looking forward to it for so long. It's one of your favorite franchises, and it fucking nails it. Yeah, 24 years or whatever. How later. perfect is that, man? It's I love that for you. Perfect. What do you think about the PS5? It's the first time you play I it, can't. Right? I can't wait till it comes out on PC. And oh, I'll neat. buy it again. Okay. Play it Fair properly. <laughs> I love that for you. Oh, yeah, I mean, PS5 is fine. It's just not as good as my <clears> fucking <throat> PC. <laughs> well, sure. Because, like... It, they built the game in Unreal. Mm-hmm. You know it's going to be amazing when it's on the PC, but sure. li- as good as the PS5 is, it's still hardware limited. You have it performance is. mode or visual mode. Yep. Visual mode is capped at 30 frames per second. Mm-hmm. My eyes go faster than 30 sec- frames per second. It yeah. goes all, all kinds of ways. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I didn't know you had super fast eyes, man. <laughs> So That's something else I love for you, dude. It's genetics. I'm a super taster. You're a super seer. Yeah, I'm a super, I have I, I have less up and down vision to worry about, so I can see. Oh, uh, widescreen. <laughs> widescreen. Yes. Sixteen, sixteen, nine. I got the. I got them sixteen, nine. Narrow, eyes. Narrow, hey, narrow wide. widescreen is better, man. Yeah, man. Wide screen's better. better it took me a long time to come to that conclusion, but it is better. Yeah. It, and if, if you if you disagree, you, you watch so, the Snyder show. Yeah, I was like, you need so wide that you need black borders. Yeah. Uh. What was it? Fucking watch Black Adam. I knew I had to watch it eventually. Not my choice. Not my fucking choice. But I knew. I told you when I watched Shazam one and two that fucking she's gonna pull on fucking Black Adam one day. Yep. And she did. And it's fucking bad. Yep. That has. I mean, I, I, I like the one fight scene though. Pretty decent. Where he the, fights the military. The beginning. Like in the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I thought that was a decent little fight scene. I like, thought all the actions and special <clears throat> effects were pretty fucking good. Yeah. No, I agree. Except I agree. for the devil monster. Oh yeah, I mean the design's fine. It's very phoned in. Sometimes looks like too monstery. It's it's, it's too CG. Problem. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Agreed. 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 It, it, it could have been better. Cosine, cosine. But all the effects and fights were great. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't. I feel like it could have been better. I, I feel like. Are it, you sure? I, not, I feel like <laughs> even with the same story, maybe. <laughs> like they had something that it's like it's because you know some some things you watch it's like oh that's bad there's not nothing there's, some, there's, some, there's some ingredients in there that could make a good cake yes mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's fair. just different wrong amounts unfortunately there were seven eggs with the shells um <laughs> and, and uh and, and no flour aquaman 2 is on streaming right now and i'm like trying to convince myself to give it a shot and i just can't get there <laughs> just can't get there Mm-mm-mm. it's part of the new world though uh, it's the bridge sure. to the new world, is it? Mm. I, I think it's the last of the old guard because he's a turning bridge. Bridge. O- over oh, water. water. Here you go, guys. It takes, it takes you a minute. It takes you a minute. <laughs> like a bridge over troubled waters. Uh, but I mean, yeah, it's it's as a fun romp. If I just completely oh, turn my fucking so brain much off, fun. No, but the like, rock's ruining wrestling. It's all right. Okay. They ruined DC. Now he's ruining wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Unfun romp. Yeah. Unfun romp. Uh, it yeah it's fine I watched a Voyagers there's a couple of years ago Colin Farrell and a bunch of Johnny Depp's kid and a bunch of children um, I, I enjoyed it it's a um, sci-fi movie it's a sci-fi movie it's a colony ship it's a generation ship yeah I've looked at that several times I just Fucking never it's wow. interesting so like they're like Fucking okay we, we can't <laughs> 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 I mean humans man <laughs> fucking viruses but uh, like, but they're like, we can't just fucking train astronaut <clears throat> to send out to space because it only takes three generations. It's gonna be eighty years. So like, your grandkids are gonna make it, but mm-hmm. you know you're gonna die on a ship. Right. But they're like, you can't take fucking grown ups because like they're gonna go crazy because they've grown up in this world. They can't be in a spaceship till they die. Yeah. So they fucking test two babies, a bunch of babies, a whole group of babies uh, with good genes, and they raise them. In a facility that's like the interior of a spaceship. It's a big warehouse, but it's all tubes and shit. They have never seen the light of day. They know of humans, but they only know each other. Okay. And Colin Farrell is like their foster parent. So they're raising them to go on this generation ship. Similar to the Nebraska experience, I'd imagine. <laughs> 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 but with a little corn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there, 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 were a lot, there were a lot of little corns there because they're good genes, man. Uh, when you're talking about good genes, I'm like, he's so he's on a I'm spaceship with a bunch go. of Asians. <laughs> yeah, there were quite a few. I, in, in my head, I was like, Amiri's, huh? <laughs> I'm going to have to go to the uh, the pickled section of the grocery store on the way home to see if I can find those. But Colin Vera has nothing to live for here. He was like, I, I love these kids. I, I raised them, so I'm going to go with them. Like, if he goes with them, they can leave sooner because, like, Earth is like overpopulated and we need a new fucking world. Mm hmm. So he goes with them and send them much younger, mm-hmm. and they f- drug them without them knowing. So like there's something in the water to keep them like mellow, 
because they're kids. Right. And then... Yeah, they, could you imagine? And they, a whole fucking but they're really smart. ship full of fucking children. But they're fucking raised to be fucking geniuses and just yeah. do their jobs. But at some <clears> point, <throat> they're so smart, they figure they were being drugged and they stopped taking the drug and now hormones are kicking in and there's one adult... Oh, and fuck fucking fast. 50 fucking teenagers. And then you have to reconcile how... This is like very much Space Lord of the Flies. Nice. Mm. And I enjoyed it. Or 100. I, I, another one of those I feel like could have been better. Like if it was... You, I feel like you could dive into psychology a little bit more. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. Good. And lastly... Is that on, is that on Netflix? Yeah. Okay. And lastly... Um, I, I I miss this. This this is good times. This like lifts my spirits. Okay. Like not not that my spirits are down, so to speak. Uh-huh. But like, you know, I left Facebook several years ago. Yeah. Because it's just bullshit. Yeah. It's downer shit. Not that it's fake news or whatever, but just news in general is oh, quite upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. But now it's like Instagram is close, to more or less the same. It's getting there. And like, not that I want to <clears throat> be willfully ignorant to the world or. But ignorance is bliss, right? Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm not trying to particularly turn a blind eye, but I am. You know, it's hard to reconcile like titties, titties, kitties, ass, genocide, titties. It's like, <laughs> it fucks me up a little bit. Who's posting the genocide? <laughs> <laughs> count count sounds lit. <laughs> I mean, it's happening. It's probably Vice News. I my choice to deal with it is to ignore it, which is mm-hmm. not the greatest, but that's my way to deal with it. Versus, like I've said before, choosing to engage, but not really. Mm-hmm. Like choosing to engage with it, but not really making a difference. Get, get a quick double tap. Right. Exactly. <laughs> you know, or engaging activities in which I feel doesn't help, even though it could. Like. It, it's like I'm just a nihilist. I was just cynical with the world. That shit doesn't shit doesn't get fixed. <clears throat> there is a um a fifth column episode. Uh, oh, you haven't shot them out in a while. Yeah, so is they're due for one. Uh, I should really join. They have a Substack, which I guess <laughs> is like a Patreon type thing. But I should really join it because I really do enjoy their content. But um, they uh they break down there was a gentleman recently that uh lit himself on fire in yeah. front of mm-hmm. an Israeli yeah, yeah, embassy yeah. Yeah. the air force guy i think and they yep and they go See, in, I, I only found out that I, I didn't i didn't need to know that so they go into a deep uh history mm-hmm. and uh breakdown of him some of the things that radicalized him mm. but also the history of people that have done similar protests operation against the machine guy uh and how it is uh this uh, no more no more no more heart not my words um worthless Mm -hmm. um he one of the guys in fact uh the guy who i'm a huge fan of this guy moynihan he was like uh he was like look when i was at college there was a guy that did it at our on our college campus and you know what don't remember his name and neither do you because no one fucking cares Mm-hmm. And yeah, only, it's yeah. the stupidest fucking way to try to get attention, and, and then he goes into, and it's 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 interesting. Um, <clears throat> and that might have been shocking at one point in time in this world. It's not anymore. Well, Even if it is shocking, this it's passing. Just, I mean, it, it it shines brightly, but then it, it's, it's, it's the news. <laughs> it's it's out. Out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It, it's, you know, our news cycle just snuffs it out so quick. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. Fuck. I don't want to be a wet blanket about the whole thing. Listen. What's that You're on fire. I, oh. <laughs> that one was... But, but don't, that, no, that, don't, that, don't send yourself on that one, Bobby. That's a bit much. But I mean, that, that's what that's the extreme of what I'm talking about. Someone yeah. who's really interested in fucking doing the most they could... Yeah, still does. It, it still does. So it gets tricky. It gets tricky for me with this topic. Yeah, but but um, which I don't necessarily think is the right. This is the right platform for it. it. Yeah. Um, but like, uh, it's also, you know, it's so much. So much of the zealotry mm-hmm. is. Oh, that sounds like the name of a fucking like, like a like a blues album. It also so sounds like that, it also zealot. sounds similar to a Wildcats character, which is where I got the word from. I'm gonna be honest with you, um, <laughs> but um, is in my mind manufactured. Mm. And that's not to say that it's not genuine to that person, but that there is this machine at work that is molding people into this thought process, and if it goes unchecked 
and their search engines go unchecked, they end up becoming these um, shadows of who they were. Right. You know. And and but like, <clears throat> but that's why I was saying it with just ignoring stuff because like that's to the extreme of what you you someone would do mm -hmm. for a cause, and it doesn't change anything. So I'm just like. Nothing's gonna get changed. I ain't gonna change nothing. Let me just fucking put the blinders on mm. and fucking just live my life. Yeah, you know. And I feel I want to say this. Just I, I feel like it's a little bit disrespectful to to think bad things are happening out there and bad things are happening to people out there. That I'm just like, hey, I'm not gonna look at you. <laughs> I know you're doing bad, but I'm just not gonna look at you. But like, I don't mean it in a derogatory fashion. I just need to live my life. Yeah, I mean, you got to protect yourself. You know, you're you're. You there's, there's nothing I can do. You That's know, the thing, you don't want to end up with a with a fucking book of matches on the front of somebody's steps. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, in the same breath, it's it's like. And I know it, you know the jokes and being flipping about the shit and all that. Like, I'm it, being it, small but human. Like, we, correct. We, we're not. Correct. It's, it's how we, it's we, how we, don't, we don't if, not care. If only our brains could forget the things our eyes have seen, Joseph. Yeah. But like, in the same breath, like I, I like feel those. a ton of sympathy yeah. for, for this. For like, and and not. I feel it for him yep. because I feel like something turned him inside out. And I do think he's misled. That's my personal opinion. It's not for my information bias, man. But I also think that like the amount of people they are grieving right now mm -hmm. over something so avoidable. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like he has parents, siblings, I would imagine loved ones, friends that are just fucking gutted yep. and all over, you know, my, in my opinion, uh, I mean, uh, he was a Reddit guy over an, an intense Reddit thread. Mm. Like, that you even have to cut down on the true crime stuff, which is, like, as far removed as possible, you know, that yeah. was as, somewhat entertaining. But now it's infiltrating my shit, and I have to, like, I I have to, like, figure out how to navigate my 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 social media. Or just, like, not even social media, just my contact with the world. Like, I, I don't know what to do. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, it's and I think, too complicated. And, and I think that your original point of, you know, sh sheltering yourself and taking care of yourself is probably the the right way to go i have the same shit like if if, if especially because i still fuck around on facebook from time to time um this one particular group i can't get enough of but like um but <clears throat> doesn't matter but sometimes i'll go through and i see like the super politicized shit on there from from both sides good people both sides and i'm like i can't handle it because oftentimes with me especially with like i'll go into the comments which that's my real mistake. That's your problem. That's, that's my, my problem. real mistake. Sometimes I see one comment, I'm like, who's responding to this? And I'm just like, oh, this is awful. And that's when I see people that I know love each other fighting like they don't fucking love each other over some political thing that, like, you know, I guess affects them lowercase e, but it's about belief. It's just, I mean, it's like religion and stuff like that, that where, like, it doesn't really affect you, but you fight about it. Right. Because you, so for some reason, it, it, it's deep part of you that you have to fight for but like i'm not even talking about the political stuff it's just actual stuff actual things i don't care what side you're on and what what politics cause things to happen but like what bothers me is that bad things are happening yeah it, it doesn't matter why or how or what side it is on bad things are happening that is real and that's what bothers me you know as, well, but bad as, things have always been happening yeah, you just true. know about all of it now because of the internet yeah like we used to not see in in, in alabama horrible things <laughs> no, i'm just using that as an example <laughs> damn it we had cable since the day we moved there don't fucking hate <laughs> <laughs> and we had to oh, <laughs> So uh, we didn't hear about horrible things happening in Portland because unless it made that 30 minute national news we saw with Tom Brokejaw or Dan rather not listen to him. Um, <laughs> Those are some old man jokes yeah. right there. Yeah, but. Peter Jennings is a goddamn Canadian. What's that about? Sorry, Canadians. I don't know. Hopefully you knew that about about him. I think now we're just our microscopes are bigger. Yeah, because like in overall scheme of things. Like I, th I think we're in the most peaceful time in human existence ever. Mm -hmm. With like, the least amount of conflict, like of all time, which is crazy, c considering how much crazy shit is going on in the world. Yeah, and and, and it's not over yet. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, you know, and, and I do want, uh, like, I want to uh, just because sometimes conversations can get taken out of context. Like I, I, I hate the amount of loss of life in any sort of these circumstances. I'm just either. suffering, human suffering. But but I think I I what 
poisons that conversation for me mm. is people that are not approaching it based on the value of life. They're approaching it based on the value of life of one being of more value than the other. Mm. I'm going to agree. Yeah. Um, anything else? Well, on hey, your, listen. On your joy list, Joe? Hold on. <laughs> I have one more horrible comment. Okay. Just because people like football doesn't mean they cheer for every team. Go ahead, Joe. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody thinks they're the bad guy. I, oh, I thought that, I, was... th- that that's the right. No, of course. That that's yeah. the, well, of that's course. that's a of thought course. I've been. That's... Unless you're like a super villain, and those don't correct. I mean, but. No, Nobody that, says that out loud. No, but that's a thought think. I've been I've been mulling over in my head for uh, a lot for what, a long time. If, if you're a super villain, no, no, I'm definitely not super. I don't know, Joe. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I think but like, the, we're going to talk the, about the, that. The, the part about why head. everyone thinks they're the good guy, and sometimes it's like there's no fucking way some of these people wake up thinking they're a fucking good guy. So who? Do you think Vladimir Putin wakes the, up the, thinking the, he's doing the, the right thing every day? The guy who fucking stabbed his fucking ex and put him her in a barrel of acid. Oh, 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 oh! Just like a murder. It's like it's things like that. Gotcha. Like yeah. the, they're definitely fucking bad people in the world. Who, he's got to know they're bad. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think there are. I yeah. think there are bad people in the world, but I I don't know if they think they're bad. You know, like even like some of like the serial killers and shit, like they have like this like lament because they had and to, you're, like, they had to they're do doing it. it for what they think yeah, is this righteous exactly. cause. Everybody but else, they're a fucking lunatic. Nobody thinks they're the bad guy. You either you know? die a hero, right? Because I I know when I'm doing bad things and I know I'm a bad guy when I do it. Like when I pirate stuff, I talk about pirating shit all the time. But I know deep down, not even deep down, I know on the surface level it's not good. Mm. It's it's a bad thing to do. I'm stealing. Like I think you know, if, I, I don't actually. I'm not pretending to be a good guy here. Yeah, but well, some I, people actually try to justify, it, do some mental gymnastics as well. Like I, I deserve this, or you know, I deserve to be able to do this. I don't do that. When okay. I do something people bad, people do that about everything. That's fucking from eating a fucking cheeseburger because they deserve it to doing horrible things to their children because they deserve it. That's, or that's a, that's a lady somebody who starved some, their children to death. Like, mm-hmm. like I don't yeah. understand how people would live with themselves. Like I can't even be a bad. I have a hard time being a bad guy in, in video games. You know, yeah, how you I do, do too. I do too. I like, can't do it. I, my my conscience is too, too heavy. Haunts me. <laughs> Haunts, you. Haunts me. I, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. That fucking airport scene. Yeah. I wouldn't fucking do it. They, they they're like they let loose on the civilians. And I just started shooting at the ceiling. I couldn't do it. Yeah, in the Blair Witch game, dude, you have to like, you have to like. Uh, Wait a minute. Leave Hold the, on. L- there's a Blair Witch. Yeah, it's a Blair Witch game. game, and there's a part where you have, oh, you have to sacrifice a dog in order to like move on with the story, and like I, I, I couldn't fucking do it. Like, like without like conscience is too strong. But like, I think like the big things, right? Like the Russia Ukraine thing and the Israel Palestine thing. Like, I, I understand without saying where I fall on either. I understand both both sides. <laughs> you know, like I, do, oh, I do, oh, you love I, those. I do get it. Like I do, I do, I, I have where my where my feelings lie but i understand the perspective of both but i just i feel like no i i think looking at this from the outside a million miles away Mm -hmm. you know what i mean this is you know more for whatever the fuck that's worth you Mm -hmm. know christopher (laughs) guys i I really appreciate it it's a good setup like i it's always my job to bring the fucking energy down (laughs) i mean it brought it up it just took it in a different direction (laughs) So I've been a busy, busy beaver since the last time we were together. Oh, yeah. um, went to uh, a New Jersey Collectors Convention mm. oh. over the weekend. Frosted Flakes went with me. Um, it was a pretty decent crowd on Saturday. Uh, we we went over Friday night. I saw pictures. Is he, he's thin as shit. Is he taking that shit too? Did you guys? No. Look, he, he whatever he's doing, you tell him is working. He's, he's, he stopped vaping. He looks good. <laughs> well, I'll pass the word. It, it's he, the it's the target work. Well, <laughs> part, that, that is part of it. He's, it, he's running he's on his vape. He went from you know at the at the vape store, literally just watching TV all day, to he's moving fucking six eight hours a day. Yeah, so. yeah he looks good. Well, I'll, I'll let him know that it, that is showing up. Um, we I haven't went, seen him in some time, but you know what I mean. Like, yeah, I, look. yeah, no worries, man. Mm-hmm. I, I'll tell him. I know he's he's conscious about it. He's mm-hmm. he's tried it because he, <laughs> we were looking at some old pictures like during the pandemic. He's like, God damn, who's that? <laughs> like, that's you. <laughs> that's you holding butters. Yeah. Um, I thought he was in a rock band or something for a minute. I was like, damn, he's right. <laughs> He might be. He yeah. might be. He might be in the the target band. What was what was the what was the target bullseye. rock band? The bullseye. <laughs> Ooh, that's it. That's hard. That's hard. They got that dog on stage with them too. So uh, we we went over Friday night. Um, I got everything packed up. So this was the first time I didn't think about this that 
the, I didn't have the big SUV, right? Because mm-hmm. cause Trudy, as we <laughs> affectionately called her, she she laid down on us and she's gone now. So then we have two smaller SUVs. I was still able to get a good bit in there. Um, overall, did well. My goal was empty totes. I cleared out two of those, like well, the biggest blue tote you can buy. I, I had two of those completely empty. Nice. I, I was selling stuff super cheap. I was selling sealed Mezcos two for $100. Nah. I was selling hot toys two for one fifty. What? Whoa. I think I have two mezcos left. I know I didn't take all my mezcos. I still have a good bit. That's but, crazy. Like all my more. I just want rid of them. I'm tired of dragging around. GI Joes. I, I did. You, I did two for forty on GI sealed GI Joes, except for like the ones I knew that were more. I think I have three GI Joes left, and wow. I probably had fifty figures. How wow. many, that how many is that? Zuvios you get rid of? I none because those are forever mine. <laughs> Um, also, just a gentle reminder, if you have a Constable Zuvio figure, if you'd like to donate it to the collection, just hit me up for the address. Balling, man. Um, I picked up some chugs, because I'm a chug thug. I got Skylinks, which is that really fun to be the most ridiculous thing in the world. It literally is. Like, trying to explain it to anybody, it's like, you I see, mean, this is a chicken that's a space shuttle, and it lands on this brick that turns into something that kind of looks like a cat, and then you can <laughs> shove them together, and then it can talk. But I bought it loose from somebody. That's, a, that's why I, I think it's ended up top point. five twice now. Skylinks. It 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 is. It is a good toy. So um, yeah, did did really well. I will say, like set up that morning. I, there was normally stinky fatties are like setting up. <laughs> I did not smell a single stinky fatty. That's impressive. The whole time. That room does get fungy. It does. I think they're funky, funky, funky. Because you heard they're it doing better with the uh, circulation. The, the circulation. They've renovated since since uh, last time you guys were nice. there. But. Um, yeah, so we, we actually stayed two nights. We, we, we did, um, um, Friday night and then we stayed Saturday night as well. And they put us on the top floor, which I was, I'd rather be on the ground floor, to be honest, just <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Cause moving, like I need to run oh, the room, right, right, right. I have to wait in an elevator. Um, so, uh, I'd gone to the room to, uh, the secret, everybody, oftentimes at these shows, I go drop some money off. So I don't have it all on me, mm-hmm. but you have to look in my room to figure out where I put it. Actually, I just put it up my ass. I don't like to do that on the sales floor, so I get some privacy. <laughs> yeah. So I go up there, and I should mention, it started raining Friday night, and it did not stop probably till Sunday morning. Yeah. It rained. It wasn't like a miserable hard rain, but it yeah. was raining. Yeah. So I get up to my sixth floor room, and I open the door, and immediately water drops on me. I think it's weird. What the fuck? And I look up, and uh, the ceiling was leaking like crazy. I happened to see some lady in the hall, like a maintenance person. I'm like, hey... um, can you come look at this? And she's like, oh, no. Uh, okay. I'll go do something. And long story short, Mason ends up going uh, upstairs just to hang out. I'm like, hey, let me know if they come, whatever, to like 15, 20 minutes. I'm sending a message. You seen anybody? No. All right. All right. So I go to the front desk and they just, they move us across the hall. But I'm like, that's pretty fucking awful. I'm glad it didn't decide to leak like over my fucking bed. Right. Or, yeah. Like the, right. My, my bag that was open with all my shit in it. Yeah. But, yeah, that was the highlight of that. Um, <laughs> and they just renovated. They did, and then that that, that <laughs> kind of stinks because they they had just renovated. So um, came home, uh, got to see a ton of people. I'm not going to say who because I'm going to forget somebody. Yeah, I know but about- a ton of people. If you were there and you saw me, <clears throat> it was great to see you. Salute. I did see uh, your neighbor kid, uh, <laughs> yeah. Will. He came <laughs> so far, far away. Him and his granddad, John. It's always great to see those guys. Yeah. Um, and a ton of other people. So, And it's funny, Mason was like, you think we'll see any of the same people that... Because he hadn't been there in like five years. I'm like, yeah. We were there like 10 minutes. He's like, I remember that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that guy. I mean, one guy bought eight Mezcos from me, and he's bought something from me at every single time I've ever been there. Him wow. and his kid are always there. A couple people like that, so... It's always fun, um, you know, seeing people and just hanging out with, with the crew there. Uh, rushed home. I had to uh, get done on Friday. So we left at like, I think we left at 2.15 or so. Mm-hmm. The show was actually over at 3.30, which is nice for a show to be over that early. Yeah. Both days. Um, so we, um, we, we have to rush home because I'm leaving the next morning. <laughs> And there's a wrestling pay per view. Uh, <laughs> so, so we got home. We and I will, and I hate to. I think this is real wood. It feels mm-hmm. like it is. I'm knocking on it. Get off my dick. Great <laughs> fucking traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Great fucking traffic both ways. Oh, oh fantastic. Like two, and a half, two and a half hours I've flat. I've never had it. Oh, bro. <laughs> I've ne- the one, come, come, coming back, oh. murder. Going there, usually fine. Coming yeah. back, and murder. It's like, and I may have been because I left a little early because normally it's like four o'clock. I'm trying yeah. to get over the... the the we were making fun of the way they abbreviate the Delaware Memorial Bridge is uh, like the Delmerber. 
<laughs> I was crossing the Delmer Burr because it it's <laughs> only true. it's only spelled out like twice. It's also not football season, which helps. Mm, that's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, that's mm. definitely true. So we hustled home, got everything unloaded. Like I said, we did great. Mason took. He decided he's gonna uh, sell his. his spider-man villains so that's basically all he took and sold uh, every single one the dump bin i keep preaching about the junk i pro i paid i think for the weekend out of the dump wow the junk bin. nice people dig and dig and i had a guy pull out every single marvel legends figure and build a figure part that was in there and got a deal on it but still it was yeah. like 200 bucks for this stuff sure so nice. i need somebody to sell me a bunch of broken toys so i can keep that's a why, do you, why do you keep that's looking a, at my my yeah, workroom? That's a drawer. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> just, I know. I know where it is. Seriously, is like, like, like anything like that, I will throw into the bin. And, and you know, like I said, that I think that probably paid damn near pay for the trip. Um, AW Revolution was the pay per view show they had on Sunday, and it was probably top five shows they've ever put on. It was just fucking phenomenal, top to bottom. I was so tired. I was like propping my eyes open. I, I was doing the I was doing the TikTok long screen compared to Joe compared to Joe's wife <laughs> just to try to stay up to watch these these last couple matches. It was Sting's retirement match. Oh, he's still I around. Heard. Yeah, I heard. they they used glass in this match, which was crazy. They, it was tempered glass, like a shower. Yeah, know, it, it turns it's, a it's, yeah. it's a great visual. Yeah, um, and it's not sharp. It's, it's not like no. little beats. It'll still cut you. Uh, Darby Allen got his back all cut up. He did. He was on a ladder inside the ring and did a flip off the top of the ladder in the ring to the floor where they had a piece of glass straddling over chairs and the person he was going to hit moved. Wow. Crazy visuals. Um, uh, Will Ospreay made his debut as an AEW wrestler and he wrestled who I like to call six foot five Joey. <laughs> Kanosuke Takesta. K- t- I can't say his name. Kanosuke. There was a there was a kid we didn't know when I went to Christian, yeah. Christian school. We called him. Uh, he was a short kid and we called him. His name was Kevin. So he was 4'11", Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> uh kanosuke takeshita why can i not say that today because you're white <laughs> nah, from cause alabama he, he the, yeah because i was gonna say the europeans would smoke it <laughs> the, the, the one, yeah. um uh, there was just a ton of great matches that was phenomenal um so i got uh got up first thing on monday and i went to des moines also known as Des Moines, Iowa, mm-hmm. which I saw Illinois for some reason. I, have, I thought it was an I in there somewhere. I have found out since then I can fly direct, but I didn't. So I, I spent three and a half hours in the great Atlanta airport as a layover. Oh, which, did you stop at the Waffle House? No, they don't have one in the building, unfortunately. I mean, I they do have a varsity there, but I didn't eat there, though. Um, I will say, if you, in my experience, if I'm going to have to go through the Atlanta airport, I'm going to make sure I have at least two hours as a layover because it's just so big. There's no way, right? Oh, so I get to the get to the uh, uh, Des Moines. Finally, I like I left my house at eight, no seven, and I got there at five. So it was a long day. Yeah traveling went to dinner with some folks um you know just chilled in the hotel had a, a meeting on tuesday with one of our distributors and it was my, my boss is funny he's in his 60s so he's he's on the edge of getting ready to retire but we literally we had eight hours in a boardroom and we get back to the hotel and he's like man that's just where days like this just wear me out he said he said i know there's people digging ditches and you know <laughs> working right. on old derricks yep. but damn sitting in that meeting all day sure was hard for I, <laughs> bro i'd rather dig ditches than uh, sit in them poor room yeah, yeah. It, it does get a bit tedious it does get a bit tedious so i flew home at my had a flight at i don't know why i booked this shit i had my flight was at i think it boarded at 5 30 in the morning yeah it was that or like i didn't leave like 11 i didn't get home till nine so I don't know if I was flying through Chicago, but everything was was smooth. You know, knock on knock on Bobby's dick. Everything was <laughs> everything was was uh, smooth and hard and ready to roll. So got home and uh, I did watch some stuff in the churn. Uh, I have a new series I'd like to start. It's called uh, Guess What Movie Chris Watched in the Airplane because it's I'm going to try to watch things that I. Would normally not watch, all right, all right. but so, it's things I might have watched a couple years ago. So I feel like in the airplane, airplane, it's usually somewhat recent movie. It's somewhat recent movie. Okay, all right, all and right. classics. Okay, okay, and, and a lot of classics. But it was a recent movie, that, Madam that I, Madam Web. Not that, not <laughs> that's too recent. <laughs> hey, hey, you got the hook on the worm, but we're not catching the, the, the right marbles. Fish. Yes, yeah. uh, <laughs> I, this is the price is right. Yeah. I just, I, I, just, I, I love this. Game. I just one dollar. I love this game. <laughs> well, so what do you think? It was fine. <laughs> How was it compared to Black Adam? 
Well, see, I don't, I don't, I don't. It's kind of hard. I will say, I thought it was better than the Ant Man movie. Mm. Mm. Which Ant Man movie? The, the, the last one. one? The, the last one. one. The last one. It was just like a CG fest. Uh, uh, what was it? Journey into the Millennials. Oh, I don't know. Quantum they were in tiny, Quantum. tiny space. Quantum Maniac. Yeah. <laughs> space, but real small. I, I thought it was a decent. I thought it was a decent movie. It was a fun romp. There were I'll two that. scenes that really took me out of it. Tell me what the, you thought. The, they the were. musical. That's the, the one I keep scene. hearing about. Hey, that which one? Remind me which one was that? That was the one where she went to the water planet and she was married to the guy. Yes, yes, that's right. So the planet they only spoke in 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 song. Why did they still do this? Transformers fucking episode. 40 years later, yeah. every fucking show hey, had one of these hey, episodes. Yeah. The male lead on the planet, the prince is Asian, so I don't want to hear it. <laughs> he's not Asian, he's whatever the fuck planet toy that guy is. <laughs> so they had Asians there. That's a good point. <laughs> and the other scene was the the escape pod scene with the flurpins. <sighs> well, I mean, you gotta admit it was actually a pretty good idea, although it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It was ridiculous. Okay. And, I mean, this man likes to watch wrestling, so it's ridiculous. It, it's fine. It is. I, I I'm fine with ridiculousness and cats that can eat people. It's fine. There were there's a lot of cats in the movie, Joe. Oh, I would have. They mean, basically I, I, take I, I, over the space station. Okay, I, I'm I'm rethinking watching this movie now. We yeah. just had the I exact opposite reaction. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I did I did something interesting over You're the like, weekend. Pussy, bro? Mm-mm. I've got I've gotten two two new little silly things. One is if I ask him on a yes or no question, and like Bobby, do, do you like do you like cucumbers? No. How do they make you feel? <laughs> it's just the follow up to everything. And bro- <laughs> I think I broke Brian Brink. He's like, will you stop asking me that? <laughs> stop. <laughs> How does it make you feel when I ask you that, Brian? Yeah. And the other is, I don't. I think I'm probably pretty tolerant of most. Things that can happen to me in life. Let's say, I don't know, my wife falls down the stairs, right? Uh-huh. Or, uh, I don't know, my wife uh, gets neck surgery. Or, uh, let's leave <laughs> right. my wife out. Let's say, let's say I have a, a minor traffic accident three times a week. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't care about that. You know what I care about? Mm. The inconvenience. Yes. Yeah. I don't want to have to deal. I'll give you an example. When me and Cody were in the car on the way back from... Uh, uh, in JCC in the in the in the December, mm-hmm. uh, we almost had an auto accident, and I've never told this story. I reached over instinctively and grabbed him by sorry, I think, he, I think he grabbed him by the arm. Feels good. Keep he up, he made on. he made sure to let me know. <laughs> um, you know what's going through my head? What? This is going to be a pain to ask to deal with. That's yeah. the first thing that yeah. came to mind. Like, yeah. not I, like yeah, I'm gonna have a car wreck. There's nothing I can do about that, but. Right. God damn it! The back end of this and the logistics to figure it's this be out, like days it's, and weeks. Oh, the problem. inconvenience! Yes. So much like, it's like was it the, it we were doing the was it the audacity the other day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the inconvenience. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I went to um, a restaurant that claimed to be the best barbecue in Iowa. Every fucking. Okay. But I have to say, guys. I can't. I I've only had that. So as far as I know, it is. It is. <laughs> no matter how That's good fair. it is, it's the best. It was fine. It was fine. But I did notice something. I did notice something odd. And maybe you being a is, is that a Midwesterner as well. Two hours away. Yeah. Right there. <sighs> yeah. Most, unfortunately, most of the time when I'm there, I'm, I love the I'm Nebraska perspective. It's two hours away. It's right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> everything's two hours away. Like, well, listen. You learn. Walk, like I was with Jose in New York City one time, and we were going to walk somewhere. I was like, how far is that? It's not far. Like six blocks. I'm like motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> That's far. That's far for people who don't walk constantly. Um, I was in two restaurants. One was, first of all, if you like beer, and I don't know if Nebraska is like this, every restaurant I go, I've been to in Iowa has 117 beer taps. It's crazy how much beer they they have. There. What else you got to do out there other than craft well, beer? Right, and it's going to be cold as hell. So the first place has really good food and it's burgers and stuff, you know. So I go to, I'm getting a burger and I got I got a peanut butter bacon burger. Oh, which, I love that. Yeah, it was fantastic. Yeah, one of those. And, um... I was looking at the sides. I'm like, all right, we got fries, we got sweet potato fries, we got mashed potatoes, we got uh, green beans, uh, we got cottage cheese, we got. Uh, hold on, cottage cheese as, as a, a side? side for <laughs> a burger, <laughs> burgers and fries and and cheese steaks. That's a breakfast. Yeah, I love those Midwesterners. I, I don't mm-hmm. know. I like cottage cheese. Like you eat it out of a cup. Or I, you I eat normally it for like most of the time I have like a little cups. It's yeah. got the fruit in it, and it's yeah. probably something my wife got for the kids, anyways. So I'm like, okay, well, that's just weird. That's just a weird one. We go to the aforementioned 
best barbecue in Iowa. Mm. I'm like, all right, I'll have the burn ins and the brisket, and let yeah. me get. Let's see, we got mac and cheese. We got oh jalapeno corn. We got mashed potatoes. We got potato salad. We've got applesauce. We've got uh, we've got cottage cheese. We've got green beans. What the fuck do we got? Cottage cheese with fucking ribs. <laughs> what the fuck? And I asked in both cases. The first the first restaurant, I said to the girl, the waitress, I said, hey, um. How often are you slinging cottage cheese out of here? She's hey, like, yo. A <laughs> couple times a day. A couple times a day. So we're at this other restaurant. Another story there. So I'm my, slinging some cottage cheese. My, too, I was with my boss. That means who, sometimes that cottage cheese ain't fresh. Yeah. 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 That's you don't shower yeah. five days, man. You antibiotics yeah, for you that, that shit. That yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, is yeah. that a yeast? Is yeah. it yeast? Can yeah. you make bread? Yeah, that, that, that's, oh, that's, that's duck that's, butter. That's too close to home. I'm fully um, realized. Duck butter. <laughs> From under cheese, but <laughs> you'd never heard of from under cheese. I hadn't. I hadn't. So, so we're me. standing there looking at the menu, and my boss is a big guy. He's 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 a healthy gentleman. Uh-huh. So we're there's younger kids come in, probably I don't know somewhere between my two oldest ages, probably like you know right around high school age, and. <laughs> They're trying to figure out what to get. And my boss says, well, what you should do is get this, this, and this. And, you know, you guys can split it. And then you get a little bit of, like, yes. like knowing in the menu. And he's, <laughs> this young black kid, like, daps up my boss. He's like, my man. <laughs> <laughs> So we go up and order, get That's our, awesome. pass on the cottage cheese and eat. And then on the way out, my, my boss kind of like waves. I'm like, you're hollering at your, at your boy over there? He's like, what do you mean? He's like, I mean, you got dapped up for knowing the menu, right? <laughs> He's like, if I'm good at one thing, it's knowing good food. So. Uh, but yeah, that, that was uh, that was a fun time. It's just a quick, quick in and out trip. Hey, yo. Mm. Um, I watched... Um, I watched the movie Dodgeball. Oh, it's classic. You can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. It was coming on TV, and it was like three quarters of the way. I'm like, let's just find it. And the Ocho. It. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I will tell you guys. Was great in that. Anybody who knows Jeremy B., Jeremy B. is a young Vince Vaughn. There's no way you can tell me otherwise. <laughs> Their mannerisms, the way they paw, I just, every, like, why, I talked to Jeremy this week, I was like, why did you frame your entire life over this man? <laughs> dude, uh, that dude, Dwight, Dwight Goodman, is that his, what is his name? White. Dwight. White. His name's White. White. You're talking about the guy with the... Ben Stiller. Yeah, yeah White. White. Yeah, yeah. White. Is white. That dude's funny as shit in that movie, man. I think we should mate. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. Are you, are you reading the dictionary? <laughs> oh. You caught me. me. <laughs> I like got to the, bull oh, by the horns, God. figuratively, but literally, but figuratively. I, I don't know if you guys. Are, I like to break this. a mental sweat too. <laughs> <laughs> when I was uh, years ago on Nickelodeon, there was a show called Hey Dude that used to come. Yes. on. Yes. So the uh, Ben Stiller's wife, who's the blonde that's in that movie, yeah, Christine yeah, yeah. Taylor, she was on in the show Hey Dude. Hmm. It's a little wild and a little strange. We make a home out on the range. Shout mm-hmm. out to Mr. Ernst. Um, I'm getting there, guys. I had a lot of shit this week. Oh, <laughs> that's great. I think so. You guys know I'm a fluid collector, not the jar kind, but yeah. <laughs> ins and outs. So, a guy I work with has started to collect coins, like some of the higher end, like chasing the quarters you, and stuff. You, get, you getting in on this game? I'm really thinking the change <laughs> will do you, you, you want to get uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. change will do me good. Um, let's see. I watched some more Better Call Saul. Holy shit, that show. Still going? Still. Well, we're slow rolling it because Street Fighter is taking over yeah. us. Although I'm behind now uh, since I've been out of town. So yeah, I need to put some, put some, make it from bad to worse. Put some hands in. Um, I don't know if I talked about it last week or if we got to it. Uh, I think we did. We, yeah, we watched Dune. Kelly and I watched Dune, the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, not the, the first second one. one. The, the newest one. Yes. And that they, we, everybody's we're, saying it's like we're, the greatest we're, thing. We're going to try to go see it, it this week. I, 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 we're going to go watch it on stream. I gotta it. watch that first one. I gotta yeah. watch that first. One. Oh, you didn't watch the first one? I thought no, you did. I did. I yeah. just got it, it some it time ago, and yeah, I didn't that's really why understand I watched it. it again. And it yeah. it really like opened up to me like what the fuck's going. It made a lot more sense to me than in, in some ways. It was like your own spice. <laughs> it was. <laughs> it's and it's almost like it's so funny. Like uh, obviously George Lucas lifted a whole lot of things. Yeah. But goddamn, he stole from that fucking oh, yeah. property. Yeah. yeah. So forty so, k. A that, lot. Well, forty k stole a lot from that fucking thing. A lot. Yeah. So I keep from everything though. Like yeah. everything that was cool. Yeah. It's forty k. Um, work like it's been brutal. This new gig is it's a lot, a lot of 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 work. It's a it's a lot more work differently than I thought it was going to be. But I, I got my performance review and i got a raise nice and, another one hey. yeah and it we're getting uh, money at you bro 
we call it, I don't know what we call it, it's basically profit sharing, which I get in my next paycheck. Oh, nice. So, uh, wow, that's a good, I don't, I don't think they do that anymore nowadays in companies. So, that was a big part of, you know, they, jams they, and jellies. They call it your, yeah, it's the jams and jellies. It's, it's a gift that keeps on giving, Clark. Mm-hmm. Um, no, but, you know, we have a program. We had a number to hit. It's like, and, and we it's, hit the number. Like, well, actually, we missed it by. So the way our a lot of companies do is they have a factored payout, and this is way in the weeds. My pay scale, I get twelve percent of my yearly salary as my base for my bonus, and then we have a factor, right? So it can go up to a two point oh. So we got a one point eight. Oh, nice. One. Yeah, so it's pretty, pretty strong. So it's actually money, not like stock. No, it's or actually I will have Cash a money. very large taxed piece of yeah. of, <laughs> of money. But to f- kind of follow suit, we're I think we're going to completely redo our bedroom. I know furniture. Nice, nice. Remodeling's it, great. It, it, and here's the thing: Maybe you guys. should try Pottery Barn. I hear they're really good. <laughs> More on that soon. I'm not. Nor will uh, I. am Sorry, I'm not. No, that's definitely not happening. I think that uh, I think there's an I and a Kia behind it that'll probably be in my life behind your bed. Yeah. No, I you're I have, you're, you're more you, rugged than I am, son. Wait, hang on, what do you mean? I could never. <laughs> never do what? An IKEA bed. Um uh, no no not the bed, the furniture. Oh, like, okay. like, no. Okay. <laughs> that's what I said for your bed? It's just I but you gotta work the leverage out, Bobby. That's a problem. <laughs> that's, that's your problem. I could never I'd be like um, you bust right through that IKEA <laughs> furniture. <laughs> I would put Busting a through on Billy it. bookcases all day long. <laughs> like a, like the Kool-Aid man. Oh yeah. So um I don't even know where the fuck I was going with that. Furniture. Bedroom. Bonus, redoing bedroom. your bedroom. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. But, uh, oh, yeah, here it is. You don't realize. You don't realize that your bedroom furniture is fucking 17 years old. You don't even think about it. Because it, yeah. it is. Yeah. It's like I was in the kitchen doing something the other day, which I don't very often. It was probably making like grits or something because I had to measure water. And I'm like, Damn. I got these silicone measuring cups for Kelly because it's something she wanted for a gift like 15 years ago. Yeah, my, you don't realize like the shit you have is so like you're so used to it. My bedroom furniture is probably close to 20 years old. I mean, my bedroom furniture is shit. Like drawers are falling off, knobs don't work, and it's just like ah, we'll figure it out. So mine's broken. It's my bed is broken. It it just has like a on in my upper corner of the bed. It just has a stack of textbooks underneath <laughs> that are like keeping it. You see, I, I, put, I put work in on that bad boy. <laughs> that Sounds like, like yeah. Letting, y'all letting Big Fernie three fix, kids later. trick you into thinking you need a bed when all you need is a mattress. I know. I know. <laughs> I have. I have. I have the California King with the extra thick. Why you got a California King, bro? What are you doing with that extra six inches? That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like with the memory foam and all that stuff, it's like a good like two foot off the floor by itself. I prefer. So I've, I don't need. I don't need to fucking f- pay for a fucking frame. Bro. My mom brainwashed me as a kid about California. King mm. mattresses, like that's the mattress, like that's the goal. You get a California King, like da 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 da. And then I got older and I found out what it was. Mm. They're longer, but not wider, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, I want the wider. <laughs> but how does that make you feel? I want like it? a Minnesota King or some shit. No, you know, like, see, I want when, like a Montana when, King. When you don't have a bed frame to 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 force you into doing what you, it wants you to do, you can flip that bitch sideways, yeah. and it's and it's the same lengthwise, and but now it's wider. Yeah, like that. That's how you get that. Yeah, work. but I, I like I like having like I I want the ass to sit at a particular height. <laughs> So I need. Well, like, to, I would have to buy like three box frames. I mean, if, you, if you're on your knees on the bed, no, 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 no. I'm yeah, 43 years old, and I'm <laughs> no, no, not, not you. <laughs> no, I'm saying, no, either or. I be, we don't have. A, I don't have a bed frame right now, and I hate it because of the way you're it, tall, right? And we have a fucking ceiling fan in our room, so we put too much of a bed frame. But you're right about the height, Bobby. Yeah, that not shit matters. Lie. That shit matters. Heels work too. I'm but short, I guess it it works fine for maybe, me. Maybe, maybe. Um, the last thing I have, and this is kind of fucked for me this week. You be down here just shaped like a little muscle man. Those, those, those little toys he's coming. <laughs> <laughs> We've all made sacrifices. <laughs> so <laughs> he man figure. Yeah, like a he man. Like a- <laughs> More like Ram Man, if you know what I mean. <laughs> or Boost Man. Joey's like, I don't see what the problem is. If it's, <laughs> if it's Moss Man, you probably need to re- rethink your life a little bit. Yeah. So this last thing has kind of been fucking with me this week a little bit. And I, I've talked to a couple people about it, and I think I, I've fucked with them too. So um, 
I was in the gifted program when I was in elementary and middle uh, school. Has anyone else same. been where it would get GT gifted and talented? You were in the gifted program. I was in the other program. It's funny you say that because the gifted program was just the other side of the fucking rainbow from the LD kids. Yeah, yeah, they're fucking weird. It, I mean, that's the same spectrum. I was in both um, when I was in middle school because. Um, they think I, I I pretend not to speak English, so I was in the GT program for the math and and that shit, and I was with the resource room for the English. Mm. So I got to see both spectrum, and they're both fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're not normal either side. So listen to this, and this is what got me. Mm. If you were in the gifted and talented program at your school in the nineties, yeah, how's your ADHD, high functioning anxiety, and perfectionist based? Uh, procrastination I, going, dude. I'm that, living that. That I describes am too. me one hundred percent too. Especially that last one. That is so fucking. That last one. Yeah. I often am like, I can't do that good <gasps> enough, so I'm not gonna do it. Yep. Oh, I rather I play oh, video I never, games. Oh, I and, never fucking finish things because like. Like I can't, nothing's. It's never finished because it's not perfect. It's not perfect yet, so it's not done. I think and I there's never a whole generation of us that got told you were special. <laughs> well, not whole. Ge- I mean, I, I'm. Well, there's a lot of people that I think grew up the same age generically in those 20 years. That is just like, you know, everybody's like, well, you're supposed to, you know, you're special. I mean, I remember like I got tested for that shit when I was too lit. Like, how are you making these fucking opinions about? Yeah. And then the fucked up thing about that gifted either. program is they pulled you out of class and you went somewhere else for mm-hmm. an hour and you came back and that teacher didn't give a fuck that you just missed that. Nope. They didn't care. They would, I don't know. Anyways. No, no like you most well, well adjusted you when you just like in the, I guess. in the regular with the regular kids. And my whole thing was it was just, I was in a holding pen. Mm. That's what mine was. Like it, it wasn't. I, th- I think my father thought I was going to get special you know, treatment. Well, like a little bit more one on one time with the teacher. Do you know what I mean? And but it wasn't. It was just that if I acted a fool around the people that were really mentally cha- like, you know, what I mean, disabled, it didn't disrupt the rest of the regular kids. Yeah. You know, so like they're like, oh, if you disrupt them, I mean, what's the worst is going to happen? I think was literally how they approached it. You know, like yeah. um, it wasn't to help you. It was just to put you in the kennel to get me out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, other than that mental trauma, uh, I got some new diorama stuff, nothing super exciting. It's really some really basic stuff, but I think it'll really work well for people. So I'm waiting on my, my, my wife who was supposed to help me come up with a colored scheme for something and, um, it's still sitting in the shop. So well, she just stopped breaking bones and having uh, surgery. She'd oh, be able bro. to get back to work. You don't even know. I know, right? <laughs> you don't need to ask She's, to think about colors, do you? She's working on she the laser cutter. I think I'm buying a new 3D printer also. The technology has advanced past... A resin or plastic? Uh, the filament printers. Did you They're try so to break it in early? Like when she's like, they say I'm going to need like six to eight weeks in recovery in bed. You're like, oh, that sucks. But good thing you can paint laying down. Yeah. <laughs> totally done. <laughs> it's like what I'm going to do is put you... I'm going to put you on a rotating table. Yeah. He says crash, but don't worry, I engraved crash box customs in the bottom of that's it. That's right. It's all tax deductible. It's all tax deductible. I guess that's about it for me. Well, um, oh, yeah. let me continue with the Pottery Barn story. Oh, a great store, expensive furniture. So let me say this. So the, it all arrived this past week, and the furniture is quality. It looks great. Like I love the color scheme. Even if you like go up and like put put your hands on it, so to speak, <laughs> like... I think the amount of like Ikea that I've bought over the past 10 years, I'm like, oh, fuck. That's what furniture is supposed to feel like. It feels like I might be able to take a sledgehammer to it and lose. Mm. It feels solid as a fucking rock. <sighs> now that I've got the good out of the way, because that's <laughs> all I have to say good about it. It arrives. So I made one large order in December. Mm-hmm. Ten thousand mm-hmm. dollars put me into debt. I'm still in debt from it. They said because of the nature of the order, I could split delivery up into two separate deliveries. Yep. And I said, perfect, because the furniture was supposed to get here in in I think end of February, early March, and the chair was coming from another location, and that wasn't going to be until April. Mm-hmm. So, cool, I'll get all the furniture in when it's ready and then wait on the chair. It's fine. So, they let me know February 7th that it was in stock. I said, cool, ship it. You know, ship the shit that's going to be shipped. Yep. And they said, no problem, we'll let our third party uh, shipping people know Oh, third party. That's the the same problem I I had with... um, Home Depot. Okay. I'm still dealing with it, by the way. I still haven't gotten a refund for my toilet. So there you go. 240 bucks. So 
I said, okay. Then I called the shipping people. They're like, no, they didn't clear it. Okay, 24 to 72 hours, 24 to 72 hours, 24 to 72 hours. My whole fucking life this year has been based on a 24, 72 hours time frame. So anyway, I've talked about my gripes with it along the way. Yep. It finally it comes, so to speak. Uh, last week, late last week, I think. And this crew brings it in and they're like, this furniture requires assembly. Only some of it. But some of it does. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, okay, cool. And like, well, we don't assemble. And I was like, well, I paid for assembly. Yeah. So if you don't assemble, take it back. Yep. And find somebody who can assemble, bring it back. Yep. And they said, hold on. And they went and called their manager, and they came back, and they assembled it. <laughs> oh, it's amazing how that works. <laughs> so uh, they put it in, so to speak, into the room. Now, I want to paint a picture of what this furniture is. It's like a cabinet with a bookshelf that sits on top of it, Mm -hmm. and then a desk, and then a cabinet with a bookshelf that sits on top of it on the opposite side, on the other side of the desk. And between the two bookshelves is supposed to be a bridge that runs across it with three more shelving spaces. Did I see that sitting in the library? You 100% did. So, on the website, you can have the option, with bridge or without. It's a $500 difference. I said, with. Yeah. Well, the width of the furniture does not change on the website with or without the bridge. It's 140 inches. I know this because I've measured it multiple times, done my due diligence. Yep. I had a space that was 142 inches. But I was like, you know what? Let's allow for a little bit of error here. Let's remove the quarter round trim and get 143 inches out of it. Cool. Done. Ready to receive, so to speak. They put it in place, and these guys that are doing the crew, they had enough of my bullshit, which is fine. But they were like, uh, doesn't fit. And I was like, well, it's supposed to be 140 inches, and I have 143 inches. So I don't know why it wouldn't fit. And they say, it doesn't fit. And I say, it better fit. (laughs) So they stop arguing with me Mm -hmm. and just put the bridge up. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't fit. (laughs) (laughs) You were 100% correct. It doesn't fit. Because the bridge pushes the cabinets and shelving units out two inches on both sides. Oh, somebody needs to update their goddamn website. And now it's 144 inches, and And I only have 143 inches. I have no room to spare. This is the first time you've ever been an inch too long, Bobby? (laughs) Yes. Yes. Um, So anyway, I'm like, okay, so I start getting on the phone, trying to figure out what's going to go on. Yeah. Uh, they put everything out there. They're continuing to set up. At one point, I see them lay a piece of furniture up against a wall that has my 3D printed city sculpts on it. Hmm. And I know that the Washington Monument was always in danger. Yeah. In more ways than one, some would argue, Joseph. And I was like, hmm, made a mental note. I'm going to go take a look at that soon. When they moved it, I went over there and looked at it. Washington Monument's fucking broken. Hmm. And I can't find it anywhere. I like on the floor. It's a little thing. It is little, but the floors are spotless. Yeah. So I think they broke it. Fuck. Put it in their pocket. Hope that no one would notice. Yeah. So I said, y'all broke this. And they said, no, we didn't. And I said, yes, you did. You had this piece. And I grabbed the piece leaning up against it. I saw it. And when you moved it, you broke it. Or when you put it up against it, you broke it. And then they stopped arguing with me because they knew that I fucking knew what I was talking about. Um, Long story short, that company has already refunded me for the damage. Mm. So the third party company that does the shipping and shit, they've been fantastic. Oh wow! So they damage the damage on your sign? Uh, On my on on the three D print? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've been fantastic. Right now, I got this fucking thing in my fucking room that I need to figure out what to do with. So I call Pottery Barn, and they make a ticket. And I'll hear something in 24 to 72 hours. <laughs> 72 hours. How long has it been? So I said to the lady, I was like, listen to me. And they're all nice. Yeah. That's another That's part, part of the problem. problem. Yeah. Right? And they're not the ones who is fucking up. Right. Basically. And they're yeah. all super nice, yeah. but they're super inefficient. Yeah. So I was like, look, if you don't have an answer for me by Monday, I'm returning it all. I'm calling an attorney and I'm fucking throwing out all the pots in my house onto the front yard just because they got pot in the name. I will only use pans from this point <laughs> forward. <laughs> and uh, so I call back Monday. Nobody knows what the fuck I'm talking about. Cool. Let's start over again. 
start telling the story. The lady's like, okay, well, let me talk to my lead. This the, All you hear. Classic. Um, well, you, you need to take a picture of the thing that doesn't fit and start this email. I was like, put a lead on the phone, please. I need to talk to a lead. I can't. I can't do this. It's been so many days. Talk to a lead and I let off. Um, she gets me a refund for my bridge immediately, um, which is nice. Then I have to call and schedule to have it picked up. Well, the good news is I have that moving company coming back because my chair happened to magically come in stock too. Oh, hot damn. So they're coming back on Tuesday. I'm on the phone with them on Monday and I call them in a hurry and I'm like, hey, you're coming Monday. You want to take this fucking thing out of my house, please? Would love to. They need a ticket for I it, need right? to process that. It's in a ticket. It's going to take about 24 to 72 hours. <laughs> this shit is not sick. This place cow. is a this goddamn is... geographical anomaly. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. <clears throat> um, so then, Two weeks from everywhere. Yep. So then I have... Uh, so then that is all... Is, they, they have the ticket has gone through and they still have yet to contact us to make a pickup date, but they've refunded. I've got the money. Yeah. So, so it's on I'm, them I'm, to pick I'm, up. I'm imagining they're going to come for their shit. Yeah. And if they don't, it's on them. Well, if they don't, uh, we could probably cut an inch and a half off each, move the brackets, and reinstall. I it. don't know, man. No. Okay. Like uh, I, I thought Worth about it. Show. Trust me, Worth I thought about it. Um. Anyway, so uh, to continue. Now I have another problem because when everything was going good. I decided there was a kitchen table. I want a new kitchen table. Mm. Oh, yeah. I decided to buy this kitchen table. Mm. I knew it was a risky move because I was already in significant debt, but it was 50% off or some shit. Mm. And I was like, well, if not now, when? Yeah. Cool. They said, we only charge you when it comes in stock. So I, I'm expecting to spend the money. Mm -hmm. Then I get an email that says, ah, not in stock. It's going to be August. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> but I got it fifty percent off. Yeah, and then they charge me. Oh, you're not supposed to get charged until until it's in stock. Yep. So I called them, and I'm like, "You charged let, me? Let me guess. <laughs> Twenty four to seventy two hours. Got, they got to put in a ticket for it, Joey. They can't do anything without a ticket. They need a ticket. So they put in a ticket. Twenty four to seventy two hours. <laughs> Call back in seventy two hours. They have no idea what I'm talking about. But one thing will fix it. Another ticket. <laughs> this ticket's going to be expedited, but still takes 24 to 72 hours. Um, so as of, to, uh, so the lady that did get me the refund on the one thing, she has started a new ticket, That, but this one is five to seven business days. So at least it's new, and she did get me my money back on my other thing, so I'm thinking I might have a winner. Five to seven business days is just straight up <clears throat> two weeks, Bobby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but it's the first time I haven't got twenty four to seventy two hours. So it's at least a different ticket. Okay. Um. So I'm calling back, and I'll you know because I'm gonna be like, dude, I, I, and they've canceled the order. They just won't give me my money back. They like the order's canceled. Did you the, do for all, the table. Did you do any of this in person, or did you do it all online? Uh, you do it all online because Wait. person's like a fucking trip. So you? Oh, I, I know. I didn't yeah. know if you guys had gone to a pottery. So you know, no, no, no. So no. you don't want a table anymore? Uh, no, because. Uh, don't want to deal with them no more. So, uh, true story. Laura did the measurements, <laughs> and when I went back and checked these measurements, the website was right, and we were wrong. Ah, ah. so it works so, out anyway. Yeah, so it worked out anyways. But I still need my fucking money back. Yes. Um. So anyway, that's been my adventure with Pottery Barn, and I will update you as I get more information. I promise you. But let me tell you what else has been going on in my life, if anything, and it hasn't been much. I'm still watching Curb. It's still fucking great. Um. Oh. I finished. Did I talk about? I think I talked about it last week. I finished the documentary on Mother God. Um, uh, you talked about it a little uh, bit last week. Yeah, yeah. cult documentary. Where is it on? Three episodes. HBO. Okay, I have that. It's great. Kind of. It's great. Watch it immediately. Watch it immediately. Drawn out. Third episode is where it really shows that it's drawn out. Uh, so, but it's still, two? but it's still very good. Oh, it could have been I one movie. Love cult shit. So. Um, but it's it's fantastic, and I think they're tied up with that circle of lights people that Shane was talking about. I think it's all connected. Oh. Are you gonna, are you gonna tell them to watch this? <laughs> no, but the fact that it's all connected is making me like want to do a couple of Googles Stars myself. Stars in the sky. <laughs> Stars in the um, sky. I went to a wedding. What? Yeah. Well, it's not, oh man. Not, at least not a funeral. Uh, so K Casey, who has been on the show yes. before, he got married. And um, not destination. No, not destination. As it turns out, um, <laughs> I got a funny thing here. Uh, okay, but um. It was in Annapolis, 
and they did all the wedding bit on their own. Mm. And then you just show up for the reception. Oh, that's perfect. Per- perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. 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 You just go sign the paper to close. Oh, I, I, could, I, I had more congratulations to give than they could <laughs> than they could handle. And I didn't have to sit through anything. Yep. It was fantastic. Yeah. And they looked great still, even though it wasn't in a wedding. It was in a separate room with food. They still looked great. Um, but uh, so I, you know, had, it was delicious food too. The best wedding food I've ever had in my life. Um, but where they took the pictures there's like it had like their like names they had no onions basically yeah 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 um it had their names like written in cursive like in a neon light okay Mm -hmm. and it was a white light dimly lit restaurant like but bright white light on their names and they were all standing in front of it and the photographer is going nuts right and laura and i are sitting there trying not to fix the problem right and uh, we're really good about, you know, biting our tongues. Mm. So we stood there for about five minutes before we told them what the problem was. And I was like, look, you might want to look at these pictures. Yeah. Because you got a really bright light in a really dark room right behind all Back these light. human beings. Yep. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, we tried a few times to convince them. Uh, I think when there was about 15 minutes left of the party, they changed the area. But I think nice. they might be a little disappointed with some of their wedding photos. Um, and I hate, hate to see it, hate to see it, but, uh, but I had a great time, great food, uh, great drinks, partied it up. Fantastic. Um, lastly, Curb Your Enthusiasm this past week, uh, brought up a good question. All right. So, uh, um, uh, none of us are homosexual men, so we don't really have a dog in the fight necessarily, but you got two. There's a fight in that dog though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you got two gay guys, right? Mm-hmm. And they're going to have a kid. And, mm-hmm. and they're not married mm-hmm. and they're going to, one of them is going to be a donor to the baby. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, should he get the last name? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think most of the time that's, that, that's been agreed on by this. And I, a lot of the time, so, from what I understand, they make a cocktail and whatever happens. So in this episode, oh, yeah, they, mix, has they, the they mix the jizz together. Whoever's the strongest a, swimmer wins. In, in this episode, it was already agreed upon. Yeah. Oh, let me guess. And Larry, fucking Larry fucks it all And Larry up. was like, <laughs> he, gets, he gets the name? <laughs> He's not even donating to it. You know? Like, should be your name. See that? See that? You know? <laughs> 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 fucking great. Um, and then I wanted to say there was one other thing that I wanted to bring up, but, uh, yeah, I didn't write it. Oh, uh, oh yeah. I am watching a show. I found a new show. I'm only one episode in, but it has me Mm. and and a show hasn't hooked me in a long time. Um, I don't know what it's called. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know what's Um, on. I don't know where it's on. Maybe, but maybe, maybe if I, um, if I do this real quick, if I do a quick search on Dior, Show so while you're World looking that War up, two. Mm. I started watching Vox Machina. Oh okay. yeah, that's uh, D and D. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah it's great. <clears throat> I mean, I, it's, really good. I, it's fun because I I watch I followed those guys for a long time before they were popular because I'm a hipster. <laughs> but so they play D and D in person, yeah. and you watch them play D and D, and then it's the it got so people, fucking right? popular that yeah. yeah. I mean, it, the the guy's a great story writer. Yeah. So it's yeah. called great voice actors. It's called the New Look. And it's on Apple. And it's about, uh, I guess, the rise of Christian Dior, but during World War II. And, like, the drama of it is just really well done. They, like He's, like, kind of coming up in the industry as, like, being the designer that, like, won't work with the Nazis. Mm. Mm. You know? And, like, Chanel is, like, working with the Nazis. I mean, Nazis, like... That- if they had anything right, it was fashion. <laughs> that's, that's fair. Robin Williams did a bit on that because they, oh, they, they, yeah, because they said I mean, that. They, which to this day, like you see a lot of homages to that. Because they said like uh, they were like there was rumored that Hitler may have had some tendencies and that in the homosexual department as mm. well. And he was like he was mm. like he was like he was like as if you couldn't tell with the tight clothes and the this and the <laughs> dancing. <laughs> <laughs> is he the reason they have Chanel number nine? Because the first date didn't work out too great. <laughs> it was it was N E I N. Well, that was good, Bobby. <laughs> I was not going there, but you win. You win on yeah. that one. But anyway, it's it's uh it's quite good. The drama of it, like the 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 entry, the characters, like the way that like it's the acting. The the guy who's playing Dior is the, the guy who was uh, the bad guy in Rogue One. Um, 
don't know his name, but uh, <laughs> the, the Batman you know, dude. The guy was also in, Dark, yeah. Yes, the Batman dude from Dark yeah. Knight Rises. He'll yeah, speak to the Emperor. Emperor. The one who thought he was in charge. The, the one that yeah. was choking on his aspirations? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Scroll guy. I, yeah. I will yeah, say, he's a great actor. Real quick, I tried to watch a bio, biopic. Yeah, or biopic. Sure? I can never get it right. Um, on the plane before I started. Ben Mendelsohn. Bef- ben Mendelsohn, that's it. Yes. Before I started my uh, adventure down uh, the Marvel's rabbit hole, I. There's a uh, Michael Mann did a, a mo- movie, I guess it's some sort of biopic on Ferrari. Mm hmm. And I watched about 15 minutes of that, and, uh, and nothing was happening. And he's got, he's putting on this, it's got a, um, speaking of Star Wars, it's got uh, Kylo Ren in it. Holy shit, I can't think of the kid's name. The guy who plays oh, Kylo Ren. Uh, yeah, 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 Adam yeah Kylo Ren is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Adam Driver. Adam Driver. He's in it, and like, he's putting on an accent, obviously, and like, I, I don't know. I was like, what the fuck's happening here? Well, like, it, was, it didn't catch me enough to want me to right. f- fucking finish it. So, mm. I don't know. I, I was kind of disappointed by that. Cause Weird I, that it would be so slow. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. You should I'm, maybe watch Gran Turismo instead. I've seen it already. Yeah. So, maybe I should just watch it again. <laughs> um, so, uh, moving on into notes. A couple of RIPs this week. Yeah, uh, man. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, fuck. RIP to Mark Dodson. He did a lot of like voiceover stuff for Star Wars and Gremlins and everything. Like He's the voice of the Mogwai, I think. Um, R.I.P. to Virgil from the wrestling world. Yep, yep. And uh, R.I.P. to Richard Lewis, you know, comedian and yep. Curb guy. Curb guy. Yeah. I thought of you when I saw that. Because yeah. I'll be honest with you, I, I know Curb exists, I just haven't watched it. Mm-hmm. And, but I, the first thing that comes to mind is he did a sitcom in the 90s where it was him and a girl opposite. I don't remember the name was of it. Was it late Moonlighting? Was no, it? that no, was... But it was something like it that, It was something right? like Moonlighting, yeah, yeah. 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 And his hair always just aggravated me. Yeah, it was always huge. It's like, why are you wearing your hair like that? <laughs> he, um, they've been doing a lot, like, because Larry David put out like a little blurb about it, like, he, like they've they've been they met when they were kids, they've been best mm-hmm. friends for so many years, blah blah. And he was like, and today he made me sob like a baby, and I will never forgive him. And like, <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. You know, um, but he, uh, they've been posting a lot of stuff on some of the pages I follow about like just famous clips of him and specifically in Curb usually but there's this one that had me laughing so fucking hard because you know a lot of that show is not scripted mm-hmm. it's just Improv. like look we sit down here's the end goal yeah. that we have to get here's to here's point A to point B <clears throat> let's right. just see what happens yeah. so they had this one where he, he's always bra- he's dating this girl right and he's bragging about her job like it's you know what I mean he's he's always dating a new girl and he's like yeah she's oh she's a CEO she's a CEO so she's got her head head on tight you know she's big CEO of this company and like at one point Larry's like see what company and he's like uh, <laughs> 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 like a dog, her, her dog grooming company and she's a CEO you know so fucking funny yeah. um so R.I.P. to all this Virgil, obviously, yeah. you know. Akira, yeah. Yeah. Akira. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From yeah. Dragon Ball Z. The mm-hmm. creator of Dragon Ball, period. Yeah. And, yeah. and a lot of oh, other things. That's the most, the most famous one, but like Dragon Quest, Dr. Slump. Like, mm-hmm. I, like I, that's my childhood. I grew up mm-hmm. on his stuff. Yeah. I, I was, I'm the same age as Goku. I, I was four when I watched Goku and was four. <laughs> there wow. you go. Yeah. Um, and then we had a little bit of Superman news. Uh, so this is really exciting stuff. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, that's that's the disappointing part. You get the end scene in Black Adam, and you don't get to see him fight. I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, look, I guess. I guess that, you're supposed to watch. Was just the tip of the iceberg. For <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe, maybe Cavill will show up in the WWE, and him and The Rock just have a match, and they'll wear their in, in, yeah, in costume. In their be, costumes, I mean, that would be a, a hell of a thing to watch. So they've changed the title, and they've given the because there have been a couple of theories about like for for tomorrow. Is this and, the Superman film that the Superman Gun's film, the James the Gunn? Okay. The reboot. We got the act already, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they've they've come up with the title, and you're gonna love this. You're gonna love this. Oh, let's ready? let's try to guess. Is the word tomorrow in it? I, I don't know this. But I, I would say that we we can't ask any questions for the guess. We just got to oh, go. Oh gosh, for it. Uh, Superman. You got it right. So that's the title. <laughs> <laughs> You're good at this game. And, uh, is it um, legit just Superman? Just Superman. Um, Not to be confused with... Well, hang on. Was, was So the original, the original was, was Superman. And the the, the yeah. second one was Man of Steel, right? It was Man of Steel. Yeah, well, was, yeah Superman... One, two, three, four, and yeah. then uh, Superman Returns. And That's then right. Steel. And then and then uh, and then um, Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Correct. Yeah. The one that almost was. Oh God. Um, but. Uh, I, it made me think of that scene from True Romance that I always think about, where he's like, uh, they, they're looking at that. You ever seen True Romance? Mm-mm. Oh, dude, I'm 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 a, I'm a True Romance uh, like evangelical. Like I want you to see the good word. Evangelist. Yeah, and I'm like, have you um, seen The Expanse? Because that's what I <laughs> evangelize yeah. about. 
So in the scene, it's a director, there's a Coke deal is going down, and there's a director, this movie's getting ready to buy a fuck ton of Coke. And he's got like his uh, uh, big screen in the room playing the the dailies of a movie that he's working on, which is a sequel to a Vietnam movie that he made back in the day that's like a super classic. It's called Coming Home in a Body Bag, right? And uh, so he's got it on the big screen, and Christian Slater's like, that's fucking nice. And he's like, yeah, you like that? And he's like, yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like what is it? Oh, those are the dailies. Is that what they call them? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't forget what that day cost me. What was it? And somebody says the number, and he's like, I swear they're fucking stealing from me. And he's like, uh, what is it? And he's like, oh, it's uh, the sequel to Body Bags. We don't have a name for it yet, but what is Jim like? And the guy's like, Body Bags 2. <laughs> 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 and, and, and the dude is like, well, that's creative. I have more taste in my penis. <laughs> but that's what it made me think of when they changed the name to Superman. Um, and they showed a little look it's not even a full reveal, but it's like a little look at the symbol. Oh, uh, wow, it looks like an S. So it's very stylized. It's, it's not. It's not S S. So it's, I. I don't think I like it because it, it doesn't look uh, like it's a very, fucking S. It's like a stripe. Well, it's 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 that. Uh, was it Feish Feish? How do we say it? The super early Superman, Fle- Feischer Fleischer, something like that. Yeah, the actor who played it. It kind of looks like that. Um, but I got to see the whole thing. But I like a. I cannot wait to argue. Just about S. I like a big dumb S. Like I like that shit. Like you like this. But like fucking just English curse. Yeah, fucking comic sans. From armpit to armpit, and then fucking just red underwear on the outside. I, so I'm I'm flexible in the underwear, but when it comes to that symbol, like because like you know, the like, Iron Giant, right? When he was Superman, it was yes. a gigantic ass. You know, through the years, there's been like little S's and moderate S's. I like a Alex Ross, and I'm you know I'm I'm not a big Alex Ross fan, but like I like I, you want an armpit to armpit, big stupid S. <laughs> S stands for stupid. <laughs> Why? I don't know. It's what I like. It's what doesn't, I like. Doesn't look comfortable. It's what I like. Your brain. Like my asses. Like, like my women. <laughs> it's visually, visually, I think it looks better. I guess aesthetically than the little. No, it's not a fucking. It's medium, not a fucking. Medium, it's not medium, a polo shirt. I, how about put like, fucking, put that fucking thing on there? Just nipple to nipple and stuff, armpit to armpit. How about that? I'm okay with nipple to nipple on the the cross line. Yes, on the cross line. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with that. But right then, there, then, though, man, it's a lot of chafing. Yeah, then you got to come down, though. You got to come down at an angle there. Then you got to come down at an angle. That's a big S. I like a big S. <laughs> <laughs> I like a big S. <laughs> oh my god um, so uh gi joe classified had yes, some reveals they did they all look great to they me they look great jinx looks great mm-hmm. uh the warthog dude he looks yeah. he looks great <laughs> the warthog dude <laughs> doc doc looks phenomenal doc looks phenomenal yeah arguably I'm, perfect i'm happy with uh with everything they showed me too and even some of it is like i don't know what that is but it looks cool but I don't i'm in it. for all of them yeah i think i think i'm in for the whole wave which uh is not when all are we getting the gi joe transformers movie <laughs> six to eight I gotta put a ticket in. <laughs> gotta put a ticket in on that. I, I will tell you real quick on the ticket thing. So my uh help desk internally is mm-hmm. is ticket based and I had they they, they fucked up my W two, which we've separated companies. So technically I'm talking to my old company about my current situation. <sighs> It was definitely a 24 to 4, mm. 72. I, my, if mine was in it. I need to get this fucking fixed now. Escalate. I did get it fixed, but yeah, same thing with a ticket. You got to enter a, put a help ticket in. <clears throat> or, do you know your ticket number? No, oh, you should I've, have it because it's got your a, system. I've got a list of them. Oh, God. I've got a list of them. My, like spreadsheet. Collecting them. Tickets. Yeah. Um, so I, I know you're a fast food fan. I'm glad uh, you're I here. Am, I am a fan of this week. Food. We still need to fast have food this week. Fast food. What do you think here. about peak hour fast food price range? Prices? I'm going to tell you exactly what I think about this because I know how where this came from. Are you guys familiar with investor calls? No. So let's say we sell stock here in in our. This might come to you as some surprise, but I'm not very well read. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, of course, Nights doesn't say otherwise. (laughs) Um, there was an invest. So what happens if if let's say we decide we're going to make DMH into a publicly traded company once a quarter? You owe your investors. A call to explain what the fuck's been going on. Okay. All right. I'm I don't following. know the ins and outs of this, but I guarantee you this is what happened there. Mm. During that call, because they said it came from the investor call, someone on the board, they asked the question, someone asked, hey, what's some pie in the sky ideas you might have about the way the business will be in 10 to 15 years? 
And someone said something about surge pricing that's similar to the way Uber Uber works. And from that little blurb, the world exploded. I ain't paying twelve dollars for a Wendy's burger. Well, motherfucker, you've been to Wendy's lately. You're gonna pay twelve dollars for a Regardless, Wendy's burger. Yeah. Yeah. But like I, I still I mean, I don't think it's gonna be you pull up in the drive thru and it's like, Oh shit, I better hurry. I need to get my order in before four thirty or it's gonna surge. I mean, that's like that with McDonald's breakfast back in the day. It's like fuck is eleven. Oh yeah. Yeah, you get cut off there. I mean uh, I mean, I still stand by as my, my most pet peeve thing is the the stock market, a publicly traded idea is the worst thing humans has ever fucking created. It is, it's a root of so many fucking problems. If we agree. didn't have it's, the stock market, the, if that thing doesn't, the idea does not exist, it's all, we'll be all better off. Where do you place yeah. it with crack? It's worse than crack, for sure. Is crack, it, crack is at least enjoyable. How is it, how is it compared to uh, uh, sports gambling on your phone? It's, it's still worse. Sports, sports gambling is okay because you, you might win. You Where might. do you put it with Christmas? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I think Christmas has done more more, more harm than so, stock market, perhaps. That to, the, and, and I'll be honest with you. That what, is, uh, which 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 has caused more suicide? You think stock market or Christmas? Uh, Christmas. I don't know. That, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what. Because that's like, why I was like, it's kind of like the Titanic, where like the spike in the deaths was really high at one point. Yeah, if you but don't, there was if a you don't big count, high one. Motherfuckers <laughs> jumping out of windows. Well, shit. listen. If you don't count the I'm, I'm Black Friday, or the original, I'm, 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 I'm talking Tuesday, about, I'm talking about overall of the human history. You got to. Well, definitely Christmas. We did fight. Uh, well, we. I wasn't involved. There were uh, <laughs> crusades for said thing. But and, that wasn't for Christmas. The Christmas was like a bonus. Christmas bonus. That's a Christmas bonus. You just couldn't sell. What episode number is the last one? I know, right? I just keep I think waiting. We should, I think, I think one at five, of these days. 500, we should just burn it down. Just burn it completely I mean, down. We're, we're been fucking burn it down. littering Career, the Careers slamables. be damned. Just burn it down. You know, and like, I, you know, I could get into a whole bag. The Ottoman Empire and, shit, you know, the people, some of the shit that they did and nobody talks about. Crazy. Um, speaking of hey, which. Istanbul, not Constantinople. You know, the uh, Ottoman Empire yeah. has, has a curb, has a curb banned, uh, attachment. Hunt. They oh, might did, be you know giants? did you know oh, that? Oh, yes. <laughs> did you know that? Uh, so, Jeff, uh, the fat guy, I can't think of his name. Jeff's his real name. He's in Curb. He yeah, was yeah, on the yeah, Goldbergs. Yeah, 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 yeah. The name of his furniture store was the Ottoman Empire. Really? Because <laughs> yeah. it comes to the fucking footrest. <laughs> so wait, hey, listen. <laughs> Ottoman? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what we're talking about. They're in. Boy. Boy. <laughs> 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 A little bit of a... <laughs> I had to bring the slide the slide ruler out for that one. Um, so the, I did my math. And then the last note that I have is just that the the uh, well, it's really because I was proud of the the note a booth please if you have it is uh the Sopranos booth from the final episode is on eBay for eighty two thousand dollars right now. Like you could have a little bit of a little bit of cinematic history. There you what? go. Make that the buddy booth? Yeah. Right there. <laughs> Wait, what happens under the table stays under the table. The funny thing is there's literally nothing special about it. No, it just looks and like... It, a- and it's been sitting there until... That, I mean, the it, what happened is the restaurant's remodeling. Yeah. And they've had it there. Which, there was a little plaque that said Tony's last seat or something like that. And so they're remodeling and they're like, well, it's probably worth something. So they're probably paying for half their fucking remodel on that one booth. Good for them. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I... I but, that was I, probably one of the last. I know. I know their house exists, but the pork yeah. store, the pork store is not there anymore, and uh, the strip club's not the strip club. It's called something else. But <laughs> oh yeah, the Bada Bing. It, yeah, it's some person's name. Um, so we have one question. One question, you motherfuckers! If you want to send <laughs> questions and do it, send them. You can email us at nerdrageradiomail at gmail it's from Paul C. It came in, I think, the same afternoon Hello. that we recorded the last episode. Oh, nice. Um, what is the last time you said no and felt great about it? When is the last time you said no and felt great about oh, it? Oh, it was last week when uh, my other job asked me to cover the job that doesn't treat that I've been working for a long time that doesn't treat me as well. A- asked me to uh, cover. I'm like, no. I-, I used to always for years. Yeah. I always said yes because they know I need, need right. the money and need the hours and sucker. And then I got my new job and they treat me great and I treat that job as my secondary now and like and that guy particularly. Uh, a short short story. Like yeah. I, there was my job I, that has two locations. I was split between two. One of them I hated so much. It was when we met. I hated so much I quit. I'm not told my boss like. I'm either quitting this whole fucking job or just stop scheduling me at this other fucking place that's driving me literally insane. Mm-hmm. 
So I got my hours cut down by half at, you know, and I had to just keep paying bills and I haven't found a new job yet, but I did save some money cause I'm not crazy. I, I had right, plans. Right, right, right. So I asked my, that, <clears throat> that this place I was still working at, like, Hey man, can I get a extra few hours here and there? Cause that, the, there's the guy's working 50 hours. It's five days a week, 10 hour shifts. I'm like, can I, can I take one of your days every other week or something so I can get more income? He's like, no, I need 50 hours. I need, I need all my paycheck. So now every time he's asked me to cover from, I say no. And I fucking laugh on the inside. I'm That's so great. happy about it. <laughs> That's like, great. You need all your hours, bro. You, you don't need me to cover for you. You right. need all your hours. Yeah. That's fair. Uh, what about you, Scott? She asked me if she should stop, and I said, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I had a good one over the week. It's, it's selling stuff. And people, will you take this ridiculous amount less than what you're already discounting this ridiculous? No. Mm. I won't. Will you take 25? For, no. That's a, that's, no. I won't. <laughs> she asked me if I add $5 and I no. want it. Yeah. <laughs> Just so, dig in the bin. You're, you're a bin person now. You're not allowed to look at the stuff on the table. <laughs> Get in the floor. My... um. My my one has also been kind of recent that I can think of is uh I, anybody who's been listening to wine and cheese knows I'm going through this shit with Selena um, behavioral issues and so forth. Mm. And it's the Stanley Cups, isn't it? We were supposed to go to a uh, it's not the Stanley Cups, but that might be a it might, it might be related. In all honesty, um, <laughs> but we were supposed to go to Sweet Frog on Valentine's Day. I was going to take everybody and just you know fill up your cups as much as you want. Now you know what I mean. We'll just have some ice cream. And uh, she then Valentine's Day was around the corner. She was like, uh, I'm so excited that we're going to Sweet Frog tomorrow. And I was like, what? She said, we're going to Sweet Frog tomorrow. And I was like, no. We don't go do the fun shit when you ain't acting right. And then Jaina was like, well, it's not all of us. Not <laughs> <laughs> you know? And I was like, yeah, I hear you. But we win together and we lose together. So I want some fucking ice cream too, you know? But no. Mm. You know, um, with that being said, Scott, thanks for joining us. It's yeah, always fun to have you. All the way from Nebraska. All the way from Nebraska. <laughs> uh, get get your adjective and body part ready because we're heading that way what, soon. By the way, what know. what is do you, what is your state bird and plant? Or, <clears throat> and what's special about Nebraska oh other than God. corn? Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. They had a good football team in the '90s that they still lament over. Right? What's that called? Uh, what do they call Huskers? You know, I've never heard it, of that. It's the bigger yeah, corn. It's the corn husters. Uh, you know, they were a big deal corn. in 90s college football. Oh, college oh, football. College. Yeah. 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 Come like, on. The you know there's not a pro team in Nebraska. <laughs> Just like Alabama. It's a huge thing because ain't goddamn else to do. Yeah. You going to watch the game this weekend? Uh, Roll Tide? Roll Tide. Roll Tide. Shout out to the rest of the Nerve Race team. Uh, Phil on our notes and on Twitter and Dante on Facebook and Ricky Tiki Timber on the videos, uh, which I didn't get a video. Of the oh no! We has are falling off the wagon. How many but he's been on. He's been on a really good yeah. run here recently. So, uh, so with that, flappy labias, swelly titties, <laughs> tasty taint, tight dick player.